Woo! Hello everyone and welcome back to another quiet live stream. I still have family over, so I am still streaming without any shouting or any screaming. In fact, we're also starting very uh, late at night and that is also because uh, I was busy hanging out, so. <laughs> Water Energy says, hello, Craig Conomus, nice to see your stream. Oops, I'm sorry, uh, sorry I'm so late, says James. Oh, gosh, James, why are you so late, man? Holy, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another live stream. There's some lovely Pokemons in the background. Nathan says, what's up? Team Rocket says, how's it going, Pokemaniacs? So I got a little something here. This is some sort of Magic the Gathering Throne of Eldrain. I guess it's like an ETB. And this has been laying around my house forever. Some guy traded this to me and I just want to get rid of it now. So since we're starting so late, let's just kind of jump into things. I'm going to open this up. I don't know what to expect. Let's see what comes out of this. Now I did a little research and I was going to offer the booster packs for like $11 a booster pack. Which I think is a very fair price. I don't normally sell magic stuff, so I'm not really, oops, not really too concerned about selling it like a pro or anything. Let's see. I'm just trying to get rid of it. Wow, this is just like a, a has wasteful. Making their product bigger than it really is. Okay, yes, it does appear to be an ETV. And here are the booster packs. So I was going to sell these. There's like 10 of them, I think. I was going to sell these for $11 each. And you can ask for one. And somebody, you should communicate amongst each other very carefully if you want one. Because I don't want to oversell them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There might be 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 of them and they're $11 a piece. I thought there were only 10 of them. Okay, and then we also have, I don't know what these are. Gosh, I have no clue, actually. Um, weird, that's holographic, so I don't know what that does. Boo, magic, says Eddie. Don't worry, Eddie. This is my only magic. I don't have a bunch of magic cards or anything. Hmm. Those are weird looking Pokemons. I know. <laughs> we got some Mario underwater music playing. Do, 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 do. I think I got the music wrong. Put that away. Whoa, look at this. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> this is a 20 sided die. Oh, that's neat, man. Well, I hate to throw this away. Oops. First pack is collector's booster. Oh, so wait a second. You're saying, oh, okay. So this is not the same as the others. So then I've got, I've got this thing and I've got these as well. Is that right? So I've got 10 packs. These are $11 a piece. The, I guess these are the regular packs. And I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what this is worth, and I don't know what these are worth. Top three days for Dodger fans. Are they modern? Uh, yeah, these are considered modern. Toss that empty box away. What do you think I should do with this die? It's so glittery. Just toss it in the trash, mister. I'm going to toss the uh, die in the trash. How was your day, mister? <clears throat> My day was great. I spent a lot of time outside, went swimming for hours. Uh, I took my wave runner out, even though we're a little worried that it might be having issues. Actually, you know, it's funny. We were on the water swimming, and a guy drove by on his, like, a personal watercraft. He had, like, a sea dew. And there was all this smoke coming out of the back of it. We were like waving him down. And we we're like, you got all the smoke coming out. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to get it home. So I guess his, uh, I guess his wave, or his, uh, it was a sea -Doo. I guess his sea is like broken. So watching that happen, it was kind of like, man, I don't want to have to deal with that myself. That collector's pack seems money on eBay. Oh, okay. It's a jet ski. How much is the magic? 
So there's only 10 packs here. And I was going to do $10 a pack, actually. Did I say, I, th I think I was going to do $11 a pack. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to do $11 a pack. I didn't realize it came with the little collector's pack. So I don't know what to think about that now. What's up, Dion Gonzalez? Look at all these magic cards. But I don't really know the value of magic cards at all. I didn't. Also, I didn't know the box came with this stuff. I don't know what these are. I'm guessing these aren't worth very much at all. And then apparently this is a special pack, so I didn't know that. Mister, put a limit to them. Well, I would like it if you guys communicated really well if you were going to open some. You know what I mean? So that, so that I know who's getting some magic cards. Open the pack. One person magic. Chris Angel does the real magic. It says corn rules. It says corn pop. I just saw the short that the guy ripped his art. <laughs> yeah, so that's an old clip, actually. That is an older clip. And Mr. Mike Side was reposting that for us because it's such an interesting clip. It's like, it's so crazy. All right, here we are. Put that back. Sweet. What a nice night. So we're gathered. Where's the magic? Magic the Gathering is Mujik. Can I mail cash in a list of items I want, says the bandit. Yes, that's actually possible. You'll want to you'll want to uh, contact me on Discord about doing that, okay? So that's, yeah, that's old. That's when the Zard was so expensive. Yeah. Back to, well, he's still expensive. He goes for like, I think it's like $900 for a 10. Is that right? Something like that. But yeah, back then he would have been like $1,500 as a 10. But he's still, 900 is still a lot. It's funny, if you had sold your Charizards back then and then waited till today, you could have rebought them at a cheaper price. So it's kind of an interesting thing to learn from. Makes you wonder about modern, doesn't it? All right, let's see. Oh, I got a little message. Cool. I'm going to jump over here to PayPal. Yeah, I got some shelves in the mail, finally. And so outside of my home, I got these two huge Home Depot boxes. <laughs> They're just sitting on my porch. They were so large, I couldn't bring them in. But I got to bring them in and assemble them and put them in the uh, closet. Oh, and another thing that happened today. Um, I just transferred over $10,000 to the guys who make the Sonic Welders. And it's still pending. Uh, but now they've got the plastic slabs and now they've got the payment. So... I'm just waiting to find out. I'm waiting for them to say, okay, we're ready to ship it off to you. We've got it configured. We've got the horn made. We're going to ship one of these off to you. So that's where we're at with the Sonic Welder. And so my next job is I need to go shopping for a table that can hold like 200 pounds. And I need to buy, apparently I need to buy an air compressor. And what else? Oh, I need to actually order the plastic slabs. So once they confirm, okay, it's all good, I got to have a label put onto my custom or a logo put onto the slab and then i gotta order a bunch of those and have them shipped over from china so th that's where we're at i shopped around for a long time for card graders and i finally have an order uh but i haven't paid for it so that's where i'm with that a real one mr is pokey so yeah we're we're moving <laughs> there's just so many steps to it all and it's so much money now, where were we? We have Nathan Curtis made an order at 10.20 p.m. for three EV heroes. Oh, the EV heroes. Those are sold out. We don't have EV heroes, right? EV heroes are sold out. Nathan Curtis is being refunded. Turn this down a little bit now. Looking forward to getting some cards graded through you. I know. I'm looking forward to grading, grading some cards too, man. Surprise stream. Yeah, we got the stream up. That's correct. How's it going, everyone? Probably won't be as many people watching. We started very late. Uh, and again, that's because I actually have people over. And so we're just kind of hanging out with them. I have to say, the Pokemon cards are more fun, says Malik. Malik? I agree. Pokemon cards are the best. Next up, we have Gregory Mountford. He says, hello, Mr. TCC. One Hidden Fates, One Roaring Skies. I have a bag on the table. Still waiting for the PSA submission from last September. Woo! Man, that's a long wait time. Here's the Roaring Skies. I think I need to stand up to get more Hidden Fates, okay? So give me a minute. Bulk grading turnaround time is going down while Express goes up. What? Okay, so let's see. Oh, here's the Hidden Fates. 
Hidden Fates. What's that? Hidden Fates. What's that? CGC bulk grading turnaround time is going down <coughs> while Express is going up. I see what you're saying. Okay, here we are with the Hidden Fates. There we go. Did you order the empty slabs from the Chinese sweatshops? Yeah, basically. They're not Chinese sweatshops. They're just manufacturing shops. They got a bunch of manufacturing equipment. And their cost of labor is way, 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 way lower than ours. And that's kind of our own fault. Here goes. What do we got? Oh, you actually got a hit, man. Mega Galaxy EX. Very good. So you might grade that one. Let's see if you get just as lucky with your hidden fates. Your hidden fates gives you Geodude. I'm sorry, man. Nothing crazy in the hidden fates, so I'm glad you got a Roaring Skies hit. That goes to Mr. Gregory Mountfield. Gregory. Now you're up top. Let's see if he's up top. I don't think you're up top. I think George Moran is. Gene Hyatt. Jeremy Tierney. Jeremy Tierney. Who's that guy? I forgot he was even in there. It's Mr. Jet. All right, let's try over here. Oh, you're right here, I see. Give me a minute. Wow. This bag is like all bulk, basically. It's from those, it's from those uh, Ghost of the Past packs. You know those Ghost of the Past Ghost Rares are going for like a couple thousand dollars, graded 10? Kind of a big deal. Shows you that people are willing to spend some big bucks to obtain them. All right, we'll put that away. Now we've got Mr. Jeff Leon. He says, three chilling rain, three sky stream. Keep my hollows, mister. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I wonder how Mr. slept. Terribly. Uh, yesterday, I might have gotten three to four hours. Today, I might have gotten three to four hours. So not much sleep at all. Uh, ever since my uh, family members came over here, my wife's, my wife's family members are over here. And uh, so this is why we're being so quiet. So there's no shouting tonight. Is another quiet stream. That's what the description says. It says quiet stream number two. Sneep. I didn't go to bed from last night. What? What are you talking about? Mister. Have you found anything for your labels? Nope. I got no clue how I'm going to be doing my labels. <laughs> no clue. Here's Persimian and Blazykin. Look at this Blazykin. Yesterday, everyone was simping. What do you mean everyone was simping? Simping for whom? Okay, pack number two. Lapras. Pack number three. Scroll of the Skies. All right. Kara says, I sent an order for that special pack you got from the set. Retail is normally 25 I sent 30 If you don't want to sell it, I also add an alternative items I want. That's 30 Sounds good. I, I didn't really list it for sale, so I wasn't going to sell it for now. I was going to wait and do a little research on it myself. I appreciate it, though. Oh, man, he just pulled Volcarona Full Art. Congratulations. All right, there's the Volcarona. And a cold pack. All right, that's for Jeff Leon, Mr. Jeff. Oh my, Jeff Leon. Jeff, last time I checked, you were up top, I think. How much does it cost to live ship? Live shipping is uh, $6. Here we are, woohoo! It's-a me, Pokemon. Let's get some different music. Underwater music's a little repetitive. Castle theme, 10 hours, Super Mario World. <laughs> I love it. Matthew Cianchio, 10 towering perfection and 10 blue sky stream. All right, I was hoping somebody would make an order like that because I'd like to see more of these sets. It's a me, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> That's right. Please remember, you get to my order, I... I put I want one hit and one blue instead. Don't skip me. Sounds good. One, two, oops, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing this like the slowest way possible. Nine, 10. I should just pick the whole group of packs up like I normally do. Let me turn this up. Kind of quiet. Do I have to turn it all the way? Ooh. Oh man, that sounds so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How nice. We're nearly out of Blue Sky Stream now. Surprise how how much we got tons of towering perfection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a big order, actually, if you think about it. So that's for Mr. Matthew Cianchio. How's it going, Matthew? Mr. Matthew. Snip our way right through here. Oh! Just knocked my own camera over. So give me a second. The feet are all messed up. I think that works. <laughs> I haven't missed a day. Woo. What? 100 more days gives all my Pikachu to Sergio and expensive Pikachus. Wait, what? Woo. On to 100 more days. Give all my Pikachu to Sergio and the expensive Pikachus. Re. Alex, where's your bag even? All right, Sergio, you can have all of Alex's expensive Pikachus. Whoop. All you have to do is say, whoop, whoop, whoop. Give me mood. All right, I'm giving you mod for the day. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. You ready? So Mr. Matthew Cianchio, cold. Here's Victini. Gyarados, look at this Gyarados. There we go. We got Gyarados. Here's Rayquaza. How nice. I actually really like this card. I think I wouldn't mind having a 10 of that. Cold. Just because Rayquaza looks so nice. You know, there's no way around it. There's Reggie. Cold. Cold. Also cold. And finally, also cold. Whew. 10 packs, 2 hits. Let's try the Towering Perfections. I hear the Towering Perfections are going to pay out right now. Just have a few energy drinks every day. That's true. I swear, one-fifth of those sleeves split on me. What? Cold. Cold. Here's Galarian Moltres. Wow, that's so nice. Cold. 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 Oh, look at this. It's the Towering Perfection Duraludon. How nice. Wow, those Towering Perfections were kind of cold too. Holy. Oh, here we go. God, that was lucky, man. You got two, two VMAXs in a row. That definitely helps. So once again, out of your 10 packs, you pull 10 hits. I really like that Garbodor, by the way. I don't know why. I kind of liked Muck from Gen 1, and I kind of like Garbodor as well. Just a trashy Pokemon. They seem like um, they seem like a lot of fun at a party. <laughs> All right. You jinked him, mister. What do you mean I jinked him? Uh-uh. You jinked him. Talk to me that way. <laughs> Mr. Matthew... It is Matthew Cianchio. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thoughts on Ace Grading? Oh, you know, there's like a million grading companies popping up. I mean, I'm going to be doing some grading too, so... When it comes to grading card, it's kind of interesting because I feel like we're going to enter this new stage where grading should definitely come down in price. And I think it would be interesting if PSA raised their price because I think at that point we could definitely say PSA grading is overvalued. You know what I mean? It's too expensive. 
Nathan Sumter says 10 chilling pokies. You got it, 10 chilling pokies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten chilling pokies just for you, Mr. Nathan Sumter. You should take a look at Ace Grading. A lot has gone into it. What? Snip. 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 This is for our friend Nathan Sumter. Just letting the people, just letting the people know there is a special promo Pikachu you buy over 13 in Pokemon Japan Center. It will get expensive since PP2. What? Here's Craw Brawler. I got caught with four grams of marijuana my friend left in the car. I pleaded no conscience because there was nothing I could do, really. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Let's send this guy to jail and ruin his life and career. Because he has some marijuana. Oh, man. Places here. Peony. Look at that peony. We got Ventipede. Ventipede. Ghastly and Tapu Finny. You see Bristrika. Squovet. Doctor, Golurk, oh man, that was a tough round, that was for Nathan Sumter, oh Nathan, Whew. those were so cold Nathan, Nathan I tell you what, let's get you, well actually you know, these aren't really expensive packs are they, how many did you order, you ordered 10, ah, but you ordered 10, I'll get you a little bonus Nathan, there's a little, this is a gift from Mrs. Tammy Lowe, and now we're going to go find your bag, Nathan. All right, Nathan. Nathan Curtis. Nathan Longoria. Nick Wieg. Nick Terrier Combos. You're not in here. Have you guys played Pokemon Unite on the Switch? Yeah, give us a review, guys. What do you think of Pokemon Unite? It is Nathan Sumter. Okay. <laughs> Eric Lovato is next. He wants five Jet Black Spirit. You got it, Eric. Eric, one, two, three, four, five. Mr. Eric. Ace Grading is Randolph's new grading company announced today. Randolph... Wow, every YouTuber about to get into grading. <laughs> Sneep. So, Mr. Eric Lovato, what do we got? That's cold. Oh, wow, when did you get magic cards? These are the only ones I have. I have about 10 packs of these, and they're for $11 each. Oh, Mr. Take a look at this, guys. Very nice. He pulls the Secret Rare Calyrex. Very nice. Cold. And Octillery. Whew. Grapple Oct, I mean. <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? Wow, you got really lucky and pulled the Blaziken last time, Eric. You're doing good. Mister, would you want to buy my Lugia I recently pulled for store credit? Says Chancho. Uh, let me take a quick look at it, Chancho. You're Mr. Matthew, right? Where did I put Matthew's bag? I just had your bag, didn't I? Oh, here it is. This Lugia? You mean like a Lugia GX? No, I couldn't be buying a Lugia GX. It's not worth enough. What I mean is, it, it is valuable, but I mean like, it's too simple of a card for me. Like if it was a if it was a very expensive card, I would probably consider it. It's too small of an amount. <laughs> if you get a grade in it grades ten, then it could be worth maybe around a hundred dollars for store credit. 
Jeremy Homesteader says three live custom boosters. Oh, the live custom boosters, you know. I, I don't remember what I did with them last. So here goes. Let's see where they're at. We got Volcanion. Mareep. And Bergamite. You got Bergmite, mister. Amazing. Here, have a have an Umbreon too, okay? He says four shining fates and one XY evolutions. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. There's your four shiny fates. And an evolution. The mic is breaking, are you sure? We're having audio problems. Static the ghost, mic broken, yeah. Okay, uh, give me a second. I'm going to turn my phone off and I'm going to turn it back on. How's that? Let me know if it sounds better. All good? Mr. Sounds Robot? It's good? Okay, good. I'm going to fix this camera stand a little bit. Cool. Turn this music back on. I have to find a new song soon. These Mario songs are really simple, so when you play them on repeat, they get boring. Okay, sounds good, Kara. Steve. <laughs> this is for Jeremy Helmstadter, and I hope to pull him a Charizard. Lord knows he needs it. <laughs> Rusted Sword. More Peko Luxray. Choodle. Dreepy. Look at this Dreepy. One Dreepy out of those four packs. How about the XY Evolutions? Oh, there we go. That's a hot pull. You got Diglett and Mega Venusaur. Nice. Mega, Mega Venusaur Full Art. And it looks well centered on the front. Okay, Mega Venusaur. Here's the Diglett. Very good. Wow. All right, let's change Mario music. It's too short. The The song loops too quickly. Fear Factory, 10 hours, Donkey Kong Country. Hold on, let me turn this up all the way. I don't think I'm going to listen to this one. Let's try a different one. Life in the Mines. <laughs> what? Oh, I like this one, I think. Okay. <laughs> Monkey. Ooh. Mr. Jeremy, let me find your bag. Here it is. Mr. Do you have any Japanese vintage packs for sale? Do I have any Japanese vintage packs for sale? Uh, I do not have any Japanese vintage packs. I apologize. Now we have Kara Nichols. All right, so Kara Nichols says... Give me a Hidden Fates and a Blue Sky Stream. Hidden Fates and Blue Sky Stream. Let me take a quick look at the price on those. Give me a minute. Okay, sounds good. So here is a Blue Sky Stream. And here is a Hidden Fates. Whew. Miss Kara Nichols, let's see what you pull. What do we got? That's cold. How about these? Misty's Determination and Gyarados. Wow. So nice. Well, I tell you what, Miss Nichols, we can also throw you an Umbreon. How about that? Since uh, those the pity pulls there. That's a gift from Mrs. Tammy Lowe. Oops. Ouch. <laughs> that hurt my fingers. All right. So you're picking up a bonus Umbreon. I need the mods. I need to talk to an adult quick. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and refresh. She throwing that back, says Grin Steals. Um, what? All right, I'm refreshing. I asked her what time it was. 
They said 6 a.m. I said, oh, you're on the East Coast. They said, oh, no, they were giving me the U.S. time. Then I asked for where they were, and they said a small island. <laughs> Mister, did the CGC order go out yet? Or if I send today, will it make the next one? If you, uh, The CGC order has not gone out, but we're very close to sending it out. So if you would like your cards to be graded uh, with CGC and be in the next round, you would want to jump into that very soon. All right, so here we go. I'm refreshing. I don't know how busy tonight's gonna be. We started real late tonight, didn't we? I do see we have quite a few orders though. It might be busy. Here we are. So now we have Mr. Dakota Force. He says, this is my first purchase. Mr. My name is Dakota, Dakota Four. Oh, four, I see. <clears throat> is it four or four, Ray? I sent my address in Discord. I want 10 Shining Fates. Wow. Okay, you got it. Oh, I need to stand up. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you an ETB of Shining Fates. So Mr. Dakota. Dakota. There we go. I got some more of these sleeves, huh? So this is yours. All right. Now we got your 10 packs here. Let's see what you pull. I'm very excited. You can hear my cat meow. She wants in. <laughs> the only one awake. Sleep. 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 All right, we got all these cards sneaked up. What's up, Caitlin Young? Oh, also, let me go ahead and... So we've been using these deck sleeves rather than penny sleeves to try and save a little money. Did you see the Olympics had Final Fantasy music? Did it really? <laughs> good luck to, to... Good luck to Dakota 4. I gotta learn to speak, man. Here, Shinx. You just took a shower. What's a shower? Oh, pulling Corviknight Shiny. We don't see that one very often. I like to think that that one's similar to the Suicune. I think it's much harder to pull. All right. Like, you get low punny constantly, but you very rarely you get the Corviknight. So that's great. Here's Buzel and Frostmoth. Like, you get Swanna all the time, too. Swanna and Ducklet is like they can't stop giving you Swanna. Or Greedent. Greedent's actually very common. But Corviknight really is not. Okay, we got Trap Inch. Double! You did it, mister! That's the double! That's the card that everyone's looking for. He's better, in fact, than the Charizard. Here's Cinderace V. I just bought a near mint first edition Rocket Charmander. Should I grade it? Uh, negative. You should cut it in half. Roly Coley. Come on, Roly Coley. What is it, just some sort of rolling rock? Lame. <laughs> You're on your bed right now. You're on your bed and you just showered. Wow. This is a really important news. News update. Okay, that was for Mr. Dakota. That was his first order. Dakota, your order started out real good with the Corviknight, but then it turned kind of poopy when you pulled the double. <laughs> oh, double. Why do you do this to us, Pokemon? Oh, man, you know, I don't think there's room for another D-bag. Just made my first, very first order, says Brooke Williams. Nice to meet you, Brooke.
All right. Aw, oh, man, yeah, there isn't enough room. Well, let's find out what's clogging up the D-Box real fast. We'll jump over here. Here's a Derek Withrow bag, it's pretty large. Here's an Emmanuel Panada. You got these large D-Bags back here that nobody's using, actually. We're gonna take Derek Withrow. He's gonna go to an overflow somewhere. Derek Withrow in the overflow. He's going to the main overflow. And then we're gonna jump over here to the actual D-Box on the table. These are all small bags. Derek Riley. How old is the Derek Riley bag? Francisco Gutierrez. Dustin Jones. I mean, these aren't terribly old names. Yeah, these aren't like, I don't even know if they're six months old. Actually, I don't know the Derek Riley one. Here, Derek Riley's gonna go up top. Derek Riley, I, I think that one is actually pretty old, the Derek Riley one. All right. So now we have Mr. Nathan. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a refund. Now we have Mr. Danny Marks. Two packs of Final Fantasy Tifa and four packs of Blue Sky. Danny Marks, I have a bag. All right, so two packs of Tifa. It's a fresh box of Tifa with the guaranteed Hollow Tifa. Now it's not guaranteed though. <laughs> now four packs of Blue Sky. I think we can do that. Two, three, four. So this is for Danny Marks. Open an evil for yourself and you will pull a Charizard. <gasps> I'm gonna do it! <laughs> that would be bad though. That means somebody else wouldn't get the Charizard. So I'm going to hold off on doing that. Can you check mod chat real, real quick? Uh, I certainly can. Give me a minute. I'm in the wrong Discord. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm going to go to the right one. Here we are. Yeah. Give me a second. Wow. Apparently, we had a scam bot join the server. That's annoying. That's so funny because... When I, it is an advertising bot, I should say. That's so interesting, because my other Discord, the moderator, said the exact same thing. So it happened to both servers. God, dude, it's so dumb. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is for Danny Marks. Mr. Danny. It's a virus link, huh? So what do we got? We got Luce, Gekko Yenke, Ku Caspel, Moody... Po-Rom. She kind of cute. Here's Monk. You got Sabin, which is a holographic hero. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve up Sabin. Oh, it was a virus. I clicked the link. Now my PP is eight inches. <laughs> okay. Hero, rare, rare, and rare. Okay. Not a very hot pack on the first pack. How about the second pack? White Mage, Float Eye, Gadgeteer, Reed, Crack, Kraken, Antillin, Bobby Corwin. Here's Holographic Nyx. So he's a hero rare. Remember, the best the best rarity is Legend. So with an L. You're looking for L rarity. Okay, there's Nyx. Now we've got Brawny, Hooded Man, Rude, and Famfrit. Whew. I apologize, man, but those are two cold Tifa packs. Kind of like the Pokemon card packs. You gotta have, there's gonna be a bunch of cold ones in there. What else do we got? That's cold. Cold. Toxtricity. Rayquaza. Look at this lovely Rayquaza. I get free Pokemon when I clicked it. Yeah, that would have been very good. That would have been like targeted scam ad software. If they had said free Pokemon. Because <laughs> somebody would have clicked that. Somebody not too bright would have clicked that. Alright, and here's the Metacam. There we go. Well, mister, nothing too wild out of that order. That's for Danny Marks. Sorry, Danny. He says, I have a bag. Let's go looking for Danny Marks' bag. 
You're telling me I can get a free Charizard base set? <laughs> yeah. All I gotta do is click on this dangerous looking link. You definitely won't get viruses. <laughs> Mr. Danny. Oh my. You sell full booster boxes? I mean, in theory I do. I sell the packs mostly one at a time, with few exceptions. But if you were to buy enough of them, you would get a whole box. Mr. Sven Krill says, one NBA Prism Retail. Oh, Mr. Sven. How's it going, Sven? One NBA Contender. Okay, here's a Contender. One NBA Chronicles. Okay, here is a Chronicles. Three Japanese Towering per Perfection. Okay, three Towering Towering Perfection. Sneak one of the Japanese packs. I need a new bag. Oh my gosh, okay. Cool. New bag, huh? So this would be the pack that we sneak. And I think we can just cut this one in half, can't we? Oh. Nothing wild in that pack. Just a cold pack. So that Japanese pack is thin enough that I can cut straight through it. All right, so this is for Mr. Sven. Since he sacrificed one of his pokies, the rest of his bowls are guaranteed hot. Sneak. <laughs> you ready? That's cold. I'm waiting for Mr. Beast to come on here. Mr. Beast, we need you. Mr. Beast buys out the gym challenge box and we just open it right here. <laughs> right away. That'd be cool. How about these NBA Chronicles? The Card Economist, you have Twitter? I do, but I don't use it. I don't use it at all. There we go. Sweet. Just wear masks. Bandit says that would be awesome. All right, what do we got? Here's your NBA Prisms. You got DeAnthony Melton, Derek White. I like that name. Jalen Smith. Oh, look, it's Jalen Smith. He's got his little goggles on. Cool. And Rodney Hood. Rodney Hood. That's a pretty Hood name. Okay, there you go. How about these Panini Contenders? So with the Panini Contenders, Mitchell... RJ, Devin Booker, Kyle, Zion Williamson. All right. Here's to Andre, Kyrie, and Grizzlies Jamorant. Ooh, game night. Cool. So there's your Jamorant, and here is your Zion Williamson. In your Chronicles, now the Chronicles packs are almost all rookies, so let's take a quick look at these. Here's a... Sekuo? I don't know if I said his name right. Seku? Sekuo? <laughs> Rui Hachimura. Hachimura. That sounds like such a Japanese last name. Cameron Johnson. Here's Kyrie Irving. Actually, this is not a rookie. And Giannis Antetkin Poe or something like that. <laughs> it's Giannis. Wow. Guys, he's 6'11". Look at that. 6'11". He's like a freaking giant. It's so wild to think about. He's huge. Jamor Ant. That's all for Mr. Sven Krill, and he's starting a new bag. Welcome back, Sven. Giannis is a big hit. Congratulations on the big hit. The final is MVP, huh? All right, so Giannis is apparently a good card these days. Mr. Sven. And we got room right here in the S-Box for you. How nice is that? It's kind of surprising. He's the final is MVP. All right, so the goal is to be the final is MVP, apparently. Nathan Curtis, he says, try to get the early EVs. So sad they sold out. Four chilling rains. Sounds good. Yeah, they, they're sold out. Even though we had an enormous number of them. So, I think I'm going to stand up and get some more chilling rain. We're 
we need some more chili rain. I'll be back. All right, all right, all right. One. And we'll step the top off of here. Snip. Take the top off of that. How much for a Chilling Rains full booster box? Uh, it's just the price that I'm selling them at times 36, mister. So here we go, this is for Nathan Curtis. Mr. Nathan. Snip. 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 And snip. There we go. So, Mr. Nathan, let's go ahead and open this pack. Here's Bonnet. Squovit Lycanroc. Avery and Cybold. It's Cybold. Woohoo! That was a cold round of four packs for Nathan Curtis. Oh, Nathan, you're having a tough night already. I'm sorry, Nathan. When will you get Yu Gi Oh! King's Court? Very soon. Very soon. All right. Ronaldo Nunez. Five more packs of Ghost of the Past. Last stream I made the same order and it wasn't opened, says Ronaldo Nunez. Ah, I, I saw your message, Mr. Ronaldo. Let me do a quick search for you, okay? So I'm doing a search. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta refresh PayPal because it logged me out. <laughs> so Mr. Ronaldo, we're gonna solve this real fast. Here we are. And you are correct. So, Mr. Ronaldo, uh, you can open up 10 packs tonight, then. Let's go grab 10 packs. Oh, and Kitty wants in. Let me go get the door for Kitty. Kitty, you want in here? Kitty's so desperate for attention. <laughs> okay, so 10 packs of Ghosts of the Past? Really? Let's get these. Ghost of the Future for Mr. Ronaldo. Oh, and the door fell back open. It's so annoying. Give me a minute. I got to go close the door again. This door is really bad. Wow, it just worked. Jesus. It's a really bad door. Might have to get like a door block so it doesn't open. All right, Kitty, don't let me run over your paws. Mr. Ronaldo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Kitty, you gotta get out of here. Come on, I'm gonna run over your I'm gonna run over your paw, Kitty. So worried I'll run over her paw. You guys will hear her scream in pain, and then it'll be like, yeah, my cat's got broken feet. <laughs> Ghost of Kitty's past. Just use the cat as the door holder. Oh, good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Woohoo! So let's see what happens. We've got Time Thief, Red Supernova. Okay, not in there. Come on, Ghost Rare, Fairy Tale, Starry Night. All right, that's pack number two. Pack number three, Miracle Synchro. Just checking all these. I don't know if the Ghost Rare can show up later in the pack or if it always shows up at the end. Okay, Time Thief Redoer, Starry Night Blast. Mister, I finally got the Master Ball. There it is. Every time you talk, you just have to use that. Cosmojo. <laughs> what do we got here? 
I don't think I've ever opened so many Ghost of the Past. Vampire Volvode. That actually looks really cool. And, and look at this one. Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Oh my god. Can't believe I can say that. Shouldn't be capable of saying these words. No ghost rare there. You got two packs left, mister. So, Mr. Ronaldo. Lovel Archer. And... Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. No ghost rares in those ten packs. Ooh. Man, they must be, like, rare or something. Holy. They must be rare. All right, give me a minute. Let me go ahead and start bagging these up. That's for Ronaldo Nunez. Mr. Ronaldo, I appreciate how deep you went. Go ahead and slide these here. It's like they're ghosts. Yeah, they're, they seem to be pretty hard to find. Whoop. Can you say, hello, TCC, he's listening. I'll put this here. You're 5'3". He's a 5'3 fit girl with a sleeve. Now, Mr. Ronaldo Nunez, you were the guy who needed live shipping, but the uh, address wasn't working necessarily. We got, we still got to sort that out, mister. Here's your bag. You got a nice fat bag now, mister. Yeah, definitely got to get you shipped. Usually around two per three cases. Man. There we go. Who's next? Let's go look it up. Tyler says, I feel so refreshed. Can someone buy some sorcery, the departure? What? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back to Mr... I'm going to go back to Mr. Ronaldo to find our checkpoint. There's quite a few orders, everyone. I may have to start moving a little faster, okay? Yes, so next up we have Evan Shea, who wants one Star Wars. And speaking of Star Wars, new set soon? Yeah, we could probably get into another Star Wars set if you wanted. So here's Star Wars. I'm six foot, hung like a field mouse. Oh my god. <clears throat> a field mouse. I don't know, some of those rodents, their body proportions, they actually have huge peepees. Oops, proportionate to the rest of their body. Alright, that's Hoth. The robots, birthday robot. Oh, and we got two cards stuck together. As is custom. Whoop! Greedo! <laughs> Mister, the hobby boxes for Mandalorian starter sets are available. What? Mandalorian? Blech. <laughs> Toss this to the side. So that is for Evan Shea. Mr. Evan, he's right over here. Here you go, Evan. Evan, your bag's pretty fat. I think we could get you shipped out if you wanted. Ruben Rodriguez says, NBA Prism, don't have a bag. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ruben. Here's that NBA Prism. All right. Oops. Magic the Gathering. So, here's Dwight Powell, Shake Milton, Montrezl Harrell, and Saban Lee. Montrezl. Mister, I'll probably pay for live ship soon. You're wanting a live ship. Would you like me to do it right now? I can I can just ship you out. Well, actually, if you're going to make any more orders, I, I, I guess I would like to combine that, wouldn't I? So, Mr. Ruben Rodriguez is going to get a brand new bag. Nice to meet you, Ruben. I'm reporting Snorlax to the Mods for harassment. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ruben.
There we go. Kitty's taking her little kitty chair. And she's over there grooming herself now. <laughs> now we got Richard Johnson. He says, I need a new bag. It's been a while. I'm glad I'm back. Six battle styles and one live. Okay, six battle styles for Mr. Richard Johnson. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. Mods, I'm being bullied. Imagine my height if I had legs. What? Let's get that live custom booster, because if I do it later, I always forget about it if I do it later. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's this. PSA 10, SV79. So you just pulled an SV7910. Let's find out what that is. Here it is. Why is Sil Valley? Oh, that's very nice, mister. All right. That's for Mr. Richard Johnson. Congratulations, Richard. Now let's open your battle styles. You've already done pretty good with the live custom. How many spots left in the large? Uh, I don't think the large is quite halfway there yet. Let's see. What? Is, hey! God, she's on the table. Dude, she can't be there. <laughs> she knows she can't be there. She gotta knock the cards over, guys. <laughs> she comes in here, causes all kinds of trouble. So here's the large. I'm trying to scare her down from the table. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it is halfway done. Okay. <laughs> Cat jumped up onto the work table, and there's all kinds of delicate things on that table. So I can't have her there. All right, here we go. I don't know. I don't want her like knocking things off the table because that's what cats do for fun, right? The cats will be like, "Let me knock this over just because I want to see it fall." Well, we're not going to have that happen with the Pokemon cards. Okay, here goes, Mr. Richard. You got Silla Cobra. <laughs> Leave a surprise in somebody's bag. Nah, she wasn't going to do that. But this cat, she'll knock things off tables just to see them fall and. I don't want her doing that with Pokemons. Here's Tapu Coco. Ooh, Tapu Coco. She's such a little troublemaker. Like, first she's outside the door meowing. Meow, yeah, let me in. She's, like, trying to climb up all over my chair. She's going to get her foot run over while I'm working. Here's Mianfu. It's Mianfu. Here's Durant. And, oh, Stoutland Full Art. Very nice, man. Check that out. So, in the Japanese set, that would be considered a secret rare. So, that is a hit. That's like pulling a full art. You also have Urn of Vitality. So that is for Richard Johnson. Oh, Mr. Richard. Is my Lycanroc GX worth anything? Uh, maybe. I don't know which one you have. He says he needs a new bag. Man, why is the R box so full lately? No room in the R box. Everything's full on this table. There's like no room for anything. Mr. Richard. All right, there we go. Sweet. Who's next? Jeff Leon. He says, three chilling rain. Okay, three chilling. Can you show me my side when you get to my order? Uh, well, I need to run over and grab it. It's You're just wanting to see it? Why don't you ask me to ship it out in the police ship channel? And then you can hold it. That'd be really nice. Three Chilling Rain, one grading of my bag, mister. I really want to know about the Sylveon, says Jeff Leon. Not a bad idea, Jeff. All right, so we'll start by trimming up the Chilling Rain. Whew. Sleep. What do we got? We've got Farfetch'd and Urshifu. Here's Agatha. Oh. Richard Johnson says, thanks, mister. Sneasel and Articuno. All right, Articuno. All right. So that goes to Jeff Leon, and he wants a quick bag grade. Oh, Mr. Jeff. 
My name's Jeff. So we'll go ahead and get these out of the way, these hollows. You got a lot of cards in here, man. Ah, that's a booster pack. I'll set that to the side. Jeff, why do you have all the good ones? The heck? Okay. <laughs> All right. So here are your cards. We've got Volcarona. He looks great. Blezkin. He is thin on the right. This looks great. This does look slightly thinner on the left. Yeah, it is slightly thinner on the left, that's why. So you can see it from the back, actually. Take a look at the brown on this side, and then look at the brown on this side. You can see that the brown on this side is thicker. So I apologize, but your Sylveon's actually off-center. That's tough to know. That's so sad, because usually the Japanese cards are so well-centered, and that's like the one thing that they'll sometimes not be right on. Darn. <laughs> So I'm putting that in the nine pile for now so you don't get your hopes up too high. Here's Santa Scorch nine. Yeah, that's the one thing that they can mess up with the Japanese cards because they don't really mess up. There's their uh, cutting. Oh, Calyrex is looking good. Wow, send the Calyrex out. He looks like a nine. I'm sorry, he looks like a 10. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're not going to ask me to grade this Tangela. Nobody ever does. Nobody ever asks. You got your Umbreon alternative art. Yeah, actually, he's not perfect either. Take a close look at this corner down here. Now, look. take a look at this corner up here. Thinner, actually. So, kind of fat on that side and kind of thin on this side. He is off-center. Um, you can see it here. So, look at the left side of the card and the right side of the card. Huh. Yeah, I apologize. Your Umbreon's kind of off-center, too. Will it be enough to turn him into a, t a nine? I don't know. He's pretty close. I'll put him in the 10 for now to, to give you hope. But the other one looked worse than the Umbreon. This Pikachu looks great. Yep. Very good. You know, I don't think you're going to ask me to grade this either. Nobody ever asks me to grade these. Japanese V is never, like, good enough for somebody to be like, oh, man, I got to get that graded. So this looks thin down here on this and fat here. Here. So this edge is fat on this side and, and thin on this side. Yeah. Uh, however, she looks clean in a lot of other ways. I'm going to put her in the nine pile now, though. That's a nine. This is just a whimsicott. What the? You got a Butterfree, dude. Man, that's a nice looking Butterfree from the front. A little thinner on the bottom, but is very slight. Metagross. See, I don't think you're going to ask me to... I'm, I'm going to start skipping these these Japanese Vs. When was the last time anyone graded a Japanese V? I'm going to stop looking at those because absolutely nobody asks me to grade those. I don't think anyone asks me to grade those. Also, Dugtrio, he shouldn't be here. Um, That's a Japanese card. Tops card, Dugong, Zarude. Nobody... Well, that's an English Zarude. Let's find out about him. Yeah, absolutely nobody has asked me to grade even one V card in a long time. All right, so here we go. This looks great. Peonia. Slightly thinner on the right side. She looks pretty good, though. That looks good. This goober. Sadly, he looks good. <laughs> How about this? Yeah, it looks pretty good. This is not good. Put that in the junk pile. <laughs> Dugong. Dugong's off center, and you can tell that Dugong's worn. Um, interestingly, you might still grade that one. 
uh, Rude. Looking thinner on the top, actually. Perforated edge, I'd say, on this one. This one's pretty close. Mega Charizard. He's pretty close, too. He's slightly off-center, but he might be a 10. And that is a V card, and it looks off-center anyways. Okay, so I think from now on on these card grades, unless you request it, I'm not going to cover the Vs. Nobody ever grades Vs. I don't know why. Oops, what did I do here? All right. I know what I did here. So these are your nines. I would definitely send out Bo, and I'd send out Senescore. Well, Senescorch 9 actually might not be very popular, but I would definitely send this out for sure. Send out that, that Sylveon. Even though it might come back 9, it will probably still do better than selling it raw. Uh, and then you could send out lots of these. You could even send out Gordy here. Peonia should definitely go out. Butterfree should go out. Pikachu should definitely go out. Umbreon might be a 9, but I would send him out anyways. And this guy should definitely be sent out too. And your Volcarona looks nice. So you got a lot of nice raw cards. All right, there you go, Mr. Jeff Leon. Jeff, I'd say you, you've had better luck than, than a lot of pl uh, people here. So you've got a good bag, Jeff. Lucky bag. Now let's go ahead and start some other music. We've got Sergio Espinoza. I would like to use my in-store credit. Can I get a pre-grade for the cards in my bag? Do not pre-grade the Pikachu cards. I'm not sure if my baggie was shipped out yet. Please send two of my best cards to CGC. That would be worth grading in terms of value. If my bag was shipped out, then I would like five Japanese towering perfection. Now, Mr. Sergio, you guys should always know when your bag is being shipped out, because I'll actually tell you. I'll be like, it's your turn to ship, and then I'll ship you. Here we are, Sergio Espinoza. So if you didn't receive that message, then you didn't go out yet. By the way, how's this card look? That looks well-centered. All right, so no more no more grading Vs because I don't think people care about Vs. Vs and hollows. Okay, VMAX. There are some Pikachus. Oh, it looks like we've done a grade on your bag before. Look, that's a little divider. So we know anything behind that divider is probably not that good anyways. All right, let's take a quick look at what you got. So here's the Doctor. Doctor looks great. This looks fine. Slightly thinner on the bottom, but actually very slight. Did he say don't grade my Pikachus? Do not pre-grade the Pikachu cards, he said. Okay, so Pikachu cards are being skipped. I think it's because he knows he doesn't want to grade those. He's actually fat on the left. This looks great. This one's slightly thinner on the right. Uh, but still looks very close. Okay, so taking a look at all these, you got some cards you didn't want to grade. You got a Dracovish that's probably a 9. And then you've got a few cards that look like they're going to be 10. You would definitely want to send this out. He said grade two of them, right? Please send two of my best cards. So the question is, which of these is better? I'm going to say the Doctor's better. Rainbow Rare Doctor it is. There you go, Mr. Sergio. Sorry if I wasn't reading too many messages there, guys. It's hard to read messages when I grade. Because I got to stare at the cards. You graduated. Woohoo! Now you can move on to being an employee your whole life. My father said his mother has talked to him before, and she died when he was 14. He's 49 now. In his sleep? That's right. Ghost from beyond. I think ghosts in your own imagination. It says SV69, my Lycan Rock, and it's a 2019 version. Oh, cool. All right. We're going to say Sergio on these. All right, C, C, one, one. Now, I just need to find out. Mistress, the Sylveon tier two. No, it is not. 
if it, if it could grade a 10, I'd say send it tier two. But if it's looking like, if it's looking like it's gonna grade nine, I would say go with tier one to save money. Now, if you just want it back faster, you could you could grade it tier two to have it back faster, but I always grade the slowest possible way I can to save money. That's the way I am. So I just go with the cheapest. Okay, now I just need to find out how much we're charging Mr. Sergio for this. It looks like Mr. Sergio is gonna be 28 plus 28 plus six minus 70. So Mr. Sergio, you're gonna have, what, $8 left. There you go, Sergio. And these are gonna go back here. Very cool. Next up, we have Damon Sims. Now, hold on, let me fix this real fast. Damon Sims says seven, seven sky blue. Yeah, we'll definitely sell out a sky blue. <laughs> Way before towering perfection. Several of them. Pokemon are meant to be played with. <laughs> That'd be a cool thing if we could get into playing the actual game, maybe making some content around it. Yeah, that'd be neat. Weedle Gang. Mister, can you say Digimon? Oh, wait, now he only needs seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. Can I say Digimon? I want some Digimon. <laughs> we have some Digimon, but they're not really moving just sitting here oops Sleep. Yu-Gi-Oh does better than Digimon for sure can we get Chrono Trigger music you know Chrono Trigger has actually triggered copyright a few times and that is why I don't go after it I don't know why it does I think it's because somebody sampled it sampled it you know, sample is just a fancy word for stole it, to be honest. Let's be honest. So, you know, there's people, artists who sample it, and then all of a sudden you can't play the original because it's being, it's, it's triggering YouTube's uh, copyright system, and now they're going, oh, this belongs to that other artist. So it's really bad. Trevenant Secret Rare, congratulations. We also have a Reggie and a Reggie. Sweet. So I don't, I don't mess with too much Chrono Trigger music. That's for Damon Sims. Let's go find Damon Sims. Here we are. They played Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy at the Olympics. Man, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, man. Not enough sleep, guys. Mr. Cheese says five chilling rain. All right, sounds good, Mr. Cheese. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five. All right. What do we got? We've got Bonnet and Celebi. What a nice little Celebi. You're about to change your bong water? <laughs> Mister, one last grading question. Should I do subgrades on the Pikachu? Uh, I don't get subgrades. I find that subgrades are a waste of money. I remember when I first got my returns from CGC, everyone thought that I was dumb for not ordering subgrades, but I just skip subgrades all the time, and I save lots and lots of money not ordering subgrades. And the truth is, most cards from CGC don't grade 10. So if one of my cards ever does grade 10, I know I could simply send it back in, uh, but this time requesting the subgrade grades. So I'll, I'll worry about subgrades when I get a 10. All right, that goes to Mr. Cheese. Here we are. Yeah, I'll worry about subgrades when I get a card that I think might be perfect. You really only need the subgrades to get the perfect grade. I think that's that's the only real good use of them, in my opinion. Now, Kevin O'Neill. Mr. Kevin, 
let's see what you get. Good luck, Kevin. We got five packs here. I know everything about the devil. Oh, okay. Very edgy, mister. <laughs> Satan is my king. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to drink blood with me? <laughs> We're going to sacrifice a baby. Wow. Can I join your club, your occult club? Steep. Yeah, we're like really dark and misunderstood. Steep. If I mail it to you with my cash, you, will you take $10 off? What? What are you talking about, Bandit? Why am I taking $10 off? All right, here we go. So we've got, wow, I like that. That's a Golurk V card. Very cool. Next pack. Here's Lycanroc V. By National Reporter, whether Republicans thinks he drinks the blood of children. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. That popped up on a. Uh, that popped up on TikTok. A reporter asked Joe Biden. She said, "Didn't the Democrats say they would defend defund the police?" And then Biden retorted by saying. Well, didn't the Republicans say that we drink blood? <laughs> it was like, what was crazy is there were all these people like, I read the comment section and everyone was like, yeah, get him, Joe Biden. And I'm like, what? It's the dumbest thing he could have said. It sounded so dumb when he said that because that, that was actually kind of what was going on at the time. Yeah, that's right. All the Republicans are saying that Democrats drink the blood of children. No, that's like the crazy QAnon guys. But the Democrat Party actually did have politicians saying, we're going to defund the police. And the Democrats, you know, constituents were out in big riotous, uh, you know, groups, protests, mobs, whatever you want to call them, saying we're going to defund the police. That was like their whole movement. Oh, didn't the Republicans say we drink the blood of children? Like, that's such a weird thing for a president to say anyways. And after he said it, you could tell he like... You could tell he was uncomfortable the moment he said it. Like, whoops, did I say that? <laughs> Articuno. And finally, and, and by the way, it's completely true. Republicans do drink the blood of children. But still, you're not supposed to say that part out loud. <laughs> oh, did I say Republicans? No, no, I meant Democrats. It's true. They do drink the blood of children. I'm kidding. All right, so... Kevin O'Neill, I have a bag. You got it, Mr. Kevin. I like your bag, Mr. Kevin. Kevin, you're doing well. You pulled the Snorlax yesterday, and today you pull a full art trainer uh, of the Dragon Guy. So nice. My teacher is QAnon. Ah, oh, man. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like all the normal people and all the, all the boring, boomer, whoever they are, they all tell you how to think and what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. And it makes you want to be crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to tell me how to act. Oh, by the way, this needs to go back into Mr. Jeff Leon's bag. Sorry about that, Jeff. Forgot I set this to the side. What is Quanon? Quanon, it's a type of, it's a new type of rice and it's very yummy and very healthy. So next up, we got Peter Waddington who says two Evos. You got it, Mr. Peter. Good luck. Evolutions, the best-selling pack of all time. Snip. This set outperformed any other set on this channel. We just opened an enormous amount of it. It will probably always be highly sought after. Full tour. We got Darkness Energy and Slow Bro. All right. And we all know why this set is so good. It's because you can pull the base set Charizard out of it. So, of course, it's going to do well. I vaguely know what QAnon actually is. It's like some group on like Reddit or something like that. And they're like, oh, we got a special agent. And he's feeding us all the crazy information about the evil occult of the enemies. And the enemies are in the Democrat Party. Wow, those were two cold packs, mister. Two cold packs for Mr. Peter Waddington. I'm sorry, Peter. And, you know, it was just kind of like a conspiracy theory group until they started getting shut down off of the Internet. And then it's like, you know, it's it's like they started gaining notoriety because they were actually starting to be treated seriously by places like Reddit where they were getting banned. 
It's like when they banned Alex Jones, you know what I mean? But then it turned out some of the things Alex Jones was saying, although he said many crazy and false things, some of the things he was saying ended up being true. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Here's Patrick Diaz. Peter, I feel like you're in the sport box. But yeah, they believe like, oh man, there's some guy who's going to stop the evil devil worshiping group. <laughs> Ricardo, why this is Peter Waddington right here. We found you. I found you, Peter. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Q is Hillary. <laughs> That'd be funny. There we go. You were in the sport box. Didn't Republicans say we drink blood? I was like, what? Next up, we got Brian Bernal, D-A-B. I think it means Darkness Ablaze. And $32, huh? Let me go see how many. You want to give me more information when you make an order, okay, Mr. Brian Bernal? But let's see real fast. So, Darkness is $8 each. So, we're going to have four of them then for Brian Bernal for Darkness. The next question is, where's my Darkness Ablaze packs? Here they are. One... Two, three, four. I voted for Trump, but I stay away from the Q followers. <laughs> the Q followers. <laughs> you selling that $19 Fortnite card? Uh, yes, the $19 Fortnite card is for sale. Snip. Snip. So these Throne of Eldraine packs are actually for sale. Uh, I noticed nobody made an order of them, so I'll actually lower the price on them. I don't normally stock magic cards. I just happen to have these in a trade. Uh, so I was asking 11, but I'll actually do nine per pack if anyone wants to try opening them. Here's Gothida. I'm just looking to get rid of them. Here's Dedena Kangaskhan. They're not gonna be part of like the normal cards that we open, but I just wanna get rid of them because I don't want them sitting around on my shelf anymore. Look at this scissor. I think I got skipped. Order 10 packs chilling. Two rounds tonight, hour ago, unless that much of a wait time. Uh, there might be that much of a wait time, Mr. Nathan, so give it a little time, please. Let's see. We got Pultigeist and Eternatus. An hour wait time is actually not unusual. It's pretty normal for this channel. Here we are, Eternatus. All right, and that was for Brian Bernal. Brian Bernal, you just had your turn. How long did you wait? Here's Cole. Christian Styles. Cole. Brian Bernal. I'm really drinking sparkling water. This is so gross. Oh, you're talking about the unflavored sparkling water. Yeah, it's like drinking a battery or something. It's not that good. All right, let's, let me read out loud who's next. Noel Valdez, Keller Smith... Starwin, Steven, Samuel, Jackie, Wes Donini, Jeff Leon, Peter Waddington, James Brown, Devin, Nathan Sumter. So I think that was Nathan Sumter who was talking earlier, right? So Nathan, you're actually not even close. There's a bunch of people ahead of you. Noel Valdez is next. He says, Supreme Rivalry and Live Shipping for my bag in the sports box. And mailing address starts with 11. Okay, sounds good. So free rivalry and live shipping for Noel. You ready, Noel? Well, that wasn't useful. Did you see the little tear? <laughs> I think that was designed to help you open the packet. <laughs> That's not good at all. All right, let's just use scissors. Now we know. <laughs> Maybe I did it wrong. Ah, that's much better. For Mr. Noel Valdez. You've got Trunks thwarting the Dark Empire. Wow, he's really thwarting the Dark Empire. Okay. Now, Mr. Noel, he says he's in the sport box. Let's go find him. 
Here it is, Noel Valdez. Uh, now, I'm going to guess we haven't shipped you before, but I'll check real fast. Oh, we have shipped you before. How nice. So now, we'll be able to ship you very fast. Print. Do you have duplicates in the 700 card bulk for $75 or for $25? Do I have duplicates? Very likely. I, I don't sort them at all. They just come straight off of the table. So, you know, if somebody opened like a whole box of chilling rain, you're going to have some duplicates from a whole box of chilling rain, obviously. No, that's what I do is I carefully sort through the bulk, making sure that you only get unique bulk cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that'd be too much. All right. Now we have Keller Smith. Mister, let me get one Chilling Rain, okay, and four Battle Styles. One, two, three, four, and a Chilling Rain. One Lost Thunder, Japanese. Okay, where's the Lost Thunder? Oh, here it is. One Lost Thunder. I sent the wrong amount for CGC grading, but I sent the difference in the next transaction. Oh, thank you. Plus live shipping and send my best cards to CGC. Okay, sounds good. Keller Smith. Have you placed any Vs in the bulk bricks to spice them up yet? Uh, I've not done that, no. Right now the bulk bricks are just bulk cards. Sleep. Oops. Get back up there. Where'd my scissors go? Oh. Oh, no, I don't need my scissors. I think I'm losing my mind. All right, let's get these open. So, here's your battle styles. <laughs> Why did I feel like I needed the scissors? So weird. I was all done with them. I needed to put them away. Here's how Doom. <laughs> Been doing this for too long, guys. Here's Mankey. Rapid Strike Energy. And Sveal. Those were perfectly cold, but don't worry. This will be a hyper rare. Oh, except it won't. It'll be totally cold. That is a rough round, Mr. Keller Smith. Let's find your bag, Mr. Keller. He says, send my best card to CGC. Okay, let's go find a Keller Smith bag first. Kyle... Kyle Sexton, Kurt Thomas, Kevin, Kyle Sexton again, so that needs to be combined, Kyle Doss, Kit, do we have a Keller Smith, Jeff, Jason, J. Manuel, Jack Walsh, Jose, Kano Zone, hmm, I have a bag and a slab, says Keller Smith. Okay, so there's a Keller Smith bag somewhere on the table, and we need to locate it. Let me go ahead and grab the K box real fast. We'll just double check the K box and make sure that he's not in here. How many spots are left in the large? About nine spots. Kiet, Cass, Cody, Kit Cart, Keller Smith. Very cool. Oh, Keller, you've been here for a while, huh? I'm glad we're sending you out. Now, you want your best card sent to CGC. Let's take a quick look. That's actually pretty good, the reverse hollow peep at you. Hmm. Let me take a look at him. He's off center, though. That's the problem. So we, we oops. They won't grade that Misty. Let me grab that big teeny. Venador, he appears to be off center. Charmeleon's a good one. I think Charmeleon will get beat up, though. CGC is real tough when your corners aren't perfect. Here's a Charizard. He's a little off center, but he's a he's a high choice, too. Oh, this is actually team up, Ampharos. How does he look? He's a little off center. 
Oh, this one's actually in better shape than the other one. Oh, this is a vintage. This is Japanese base set. That's off center. Okay, so your best card is definitely this Charizard GX. We're going to be sending him off. That's for Keller Smith. Nice of you to drop by, Mr. Keller. There we go. Let's go ahead and get you a label. I got your address with two one in it. Print. All right, Mr. Keller, we got your label. Let me go put your bag to the side for live shipping. After Keller Smith, we have Mr. Starwin. Starwin says three, chilling rain. You got it, Mr. Starwin. Ooh. How about the homeless guys with signs that say hungry, but they're overweight? <laughs> overweight people can get hungry too, mister. <laughs> I'll take a peanut butter crack sandwich. What? What do we got? We've got Sauce Buck and Gengar. Oh, mister, that was a hit. Oh, cheese, you were so close to it, too. That's Melody 4. But, you know, it's not Peonia. Still a chance for Peonia, cheese. Here's Echoing Horn. All right, congratulations to Mr. Starwin. Here for the crack. Starwin, sounds like you win, Mr. Starwin. Here's your bag. Great pull. Snipe, it's Boobany. Shut up, mister. <laughs> okay, maybe cheese does want Boobany. Steven Demos says, one pack of 2021 Panini Prism. I need a new bag. One pack of 2021 Panini Prism. What is he referring to? Give me a minute. Let's see. Ah. I think he means the NFL draft picks. So it's really important to me, Mr. Steven Demos, it's really important that you explain that it's an NFL pack, okay? So let me go ahead and grab it. This is very important information. Panini Prism. Here we go. He says, I need a new bag. Sounds good, Stephen. Let's see what your draft picks are. We got Calvin Ridley, Ben, Terrace Marshall Rookie, Sam Ellinger, and Trevin Morig. All right, so in this case, you did not get a Rookie Crusade card. Cheese wants pee on ya, that's right. Here we are. There we go. Let's go ahead and get you a new bag, Mr. Steven. Mr. Steven. Mr. Steven. Six Steven says, wrong one. Nah, he's just teasing. Let's see. I don't have any others. All we, all, the only other one we have is the NBA Prism. So I know you're teasing. Wrong one, ba. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and write his name down. No, it's not NBA because you paid $11, not $24. The NBA one was $24. He said NBA. He did not, actually. Your order is... Oh, I'm reading it wrong. No, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it, Steven. <laughs> no, you're right. So let's see. So the problem is, the NBA one's not called Panini Prism, is it? Maybe it's just Panini by default. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I see. God damn it, dude. 
I don't even think I can rip these. These are too strong. Yeah, let me go open them. Keep those for your personal. Nah, I don't really collect football. All right. <laughs> All right, so next time I got to reject that order because it doesn't it doesn't define exactly what you're ordering. Let's go get let's go get the NBA pack. <laughs> you can hear the disappointment in my voice. Just wasted $11. All right, snip. Should have thrown them in the book box. You know, that is actually a good point. Next time I'll do that. I'll throw them in the book box. All right, Ursan. Ursan. Jonas. Here's DJ Augustine. And Magic Johnson. All right. <laughs> so funny. So I just made a trade for one of those packs, too. You know, the... Um, the NBA pack, somebody had a sealed one in their bag, and then they traded me, and uh, so that trade was basically just wasted. It's like I just gave them a, a stuff for free. All right. Yeah. Please, please tell me if you're opening NBA or NFL. Steven Demas. There we go. Mr. I ordered a base set pack, and you gave me silver lens. <laughs> next up, let's see who's next. Samuel Orocho. He says, 10 chilling, 10 battle styles, and 2 live customs. Sounds good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's get the battle styles. 10 battle styles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. So you also won two live customs. Sounds good, man. Let's see what comes out of here. This is for Samuel Arocho. You got Chandelure. And, oh, what's this? One large. Hey, you put yourself into the large and picked up a Chandelure. How nice is that? So here's the gym challenge large. And you're going to be moved over there, mister. All right, Samuel Orocho, you're in. Good luck. You ready? Let's go ahead and start trimming these up. Ask for base one. You gave me a chilling. <laughs> Oh, let me go get you a Pokemon base set booster pack. <laughs> I'm going to try to get rid of what? Sleep. He made so much panhandling that he actually had a vet. Oh, you mean like panhandling for gold? No, you're talking about begging. Is that what you're talking about? Sleep. There was a base set pack missing from my bag, mister. Going to have to replace that. <laughs> Panhandling. I hear panhandling and I think of like someone actually standing in like a stream sifting through the dirt to try and find a gold nugget. <laughs> Begging. He had a Corvette. Snip. Damn. Maybe he's all out of money because he spent it on the Corvette, guys. <laughs> okay, Samuel Arrocho. We've got Galarian Slowking. Ooh, he's so slow. Mister, you didn't send us our Cherry Zard slabs. Quick, refund. <laughs> Here's Slowking. Oh, man. Great pull. That's Clara. All right, you got Rainbow Rare Clara. How nice. If it ain't a Corona, I ain't drinking the beer. What? <laughs> Wow, there's a Claire in the box and uh, a Melody, a Boobity. How's it going, MX Herbaz? Here's Farfetch'd Porygon Z. Here's Hatena. 
your audio's being weird again. You know, I didn't do anything to the audio, so I wonder if it could be lag. But I can go back and fix it. You want me to reset my phone again, guys? Is, are we getting funny la or funny noise from the microphone? Can one of the moderators confirm, actually? I don't trust the audience. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn my phone off and on again. Alright, how's it sounding? Let me know. I turned my phone on and off again. I don't know if it helped. Phone's pretty hot, actually. Huh. What if the phone's getting worn out? You know, we use it a lot, right? Here's Roly Coley. Zubat. Phalanx. Kingdra. Heatmore. Ambor. Of course, when I'm not on stream, you play it. <laughs> Victini. Great pull. That is Victini Full Art. Nice. Where's my Mike Mod Check? <laughs> mod Check. Hone Edge and Houndoom. And finally, Santa Cana Cricketoon. He's got a little mustache. All right, let's go ahead and put this here. How much do you get a day with these streams? Oh, I make about $7 an hour. Toss this over here. <laughs> Kitty playing with the phone? That's right. So, Mr. Samuel Arrocho, let's go find your bag. I think you're up top. Here's Samuel Agueo. Shane Childer, Sandro, Shane Hansen, Sean Leon, Samuel Zuniga, Scott Riley, Steven Dima. Wait, like this Steven Dimas? Oh no, this is Steven Dam. Never mind. Their names are, they look similar, but they're not the same. <laughs> Steven Conrad, Samuel Chavez, Shine Branson. Okay, so you're not up there. He doesn't say he needs a bag. Let's go looking in here. We're looking for Samuel Orocho. Oh, you're down here. Okay, cool. Didn't expect you there. I don't know why. You had a pretty good round, Sam. And now your bag's going to get real fat from all these hollow cards. Remember, guys, you can always offer to donate the hollow cards if you don't want them and you want your bag to be thinner. Jackie Koo says one maximum gold. You got it, Jackie. Here we are. Miss Jackie. Jackie Koo. Mecha Phantom Beast. All right, we're looking for the, here it is, House Dragon and Infinite Impermanence. All right, no blue eyes in there. That's for Jackie Koo. It had been so long since I'd done one of these, I'd forgotten how it works. Jackie. Jackie with the J. Let's go find your bag. Jackie Koo. I think it's time to design a new way to hold all these cards. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a minute to think about what we're how we're gonna change it. it it's obvious we need to make a serious change. Might be time to upgrade the table, guys. Wes Donini says, 20 fates collide. Thanks, mister. Love you. Wow. 20 of them, guys. Well, Wes, I expect you to pull some really hot stuff out of here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, uh, 11, 12. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I'm expecting good things out of these. Big order, guys. Big X, Y order. Wes, you're smart, man. A lot of guys opening these modern cards that have been printed to death, and here we have actual old stuff from the XY era, and it probably hasn't been printed to death. death. One, two. Actually, if you just look at the PSA population rates, we know that there's not that many XY uh, PSA pops or PSA cards. One, two, three. Well, here, we'll recount it when we, when we cut them. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you guys is when it comes to XY cards from the XY era, there's not that many PSA 10s. They're harder to grade, and there just aren't as many graded because back then, 
there wasn't as big of a Pokemon craze. Now every new set that comes out is going to get graded like crazy. Oops. Sleep. Sleep. God damn, they're like sticking to each other. It's kind of annoying. Do you anything about SNC grading? Man, there's so many grading companies. I don't know anything about SNC grading or any of these bazillion grading companies. <laughs> Toss it over there. Congrats on business. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You ready? Here goes. So we got Whismur. Here's Mega Catcher. Barbacol and a non hollow Snorlax. You think this is valuable enough to save? Maybe. I don't know if it is. Here's N and White Caillou Rim. Ryolu Lucario. That's pretty cool, right? Both in the same pack. Loudred. Cold so far. Exploud. You got Loudred Exploud. Deerling. Energy reset. Wow, really cold so far, actually. These come straight out of blister packs out of a sealed case. A sealed case that I ordered. Here's Altaria. All right, so we start out with our first pull. Altaria EX. Lass's special... Oh, look at that Mew. I don't want to mess around with it too much, but there's like a big air bubble there. Weird. So you got Hollow Mew. That's actually a hot pull in this set. Energy pouch. So if you don't get anything too crazy here, Wes, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a uh, suggestion that you go a little. Oops, you go a little deeper. God damn, dude, these packs are like sticking to each other. But here we go. We got something. Here's a Shuckle. You know I love Shuckle. Kingdra EX. That is still not a full art. You would hope in 20 packs you pick up a full art. We still got time. Here's another Mew. Okay, so I'm liking the Mews. The Mews are really good hollows. Double Mews. Here is a Delphox. What do we got next? Ryolu, why are you pulling everything but the full arts? Here's Bronzor. Here we go, what do we got? Oh, psh, Bronzong. Last pack, mister. Oh, man. Yeah, you must be in a section of the box that is particularly cold. And Devolution Spray. Whoa. Wes, I thought you were going to be pulling hot fire out of this. I, I guarantee you there's hot fire somewhere in the box. So this must be what's going on. You must have been pulling from a portion of the case that was not full of full arts. Damn, that's real cold. Wes, I recommend putting in an order right away for more of these. Before someone snipes you. What do you got? You got two breaks, an Altarian, a Kingdra, and two Hollow Mews. If you don't got the money, I'll put it on a loan for you. <laughs> Yeah, that's about as cold as it gets, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do, Mr. West, I'll go ahead and throw you a a few of these. So there's some bonuses. You got Glaceon, Sylveon, Umbreon. That's actually already really nice. And I will go find your bag. But yeah, Wes, I'm going to recommend you go a little deeper because there's almost definitely some other pulls in there and we just haven't seen them. And you just did a nice little mind sweep. Did we, um, did we ship your bag, Wes? Oh, here it is. Whew. I don't think you can get a cold case, can you? There's no way you get a cold case. There's too many cards in a case. What pack is that? Uh, that is called the Fates Collide set, and it's a really, really good set, but unfortunately for Wes... He didn't pull like any of the full arts at all, but the full arts in the set are awesome. 
And I would expect from a whole case, I would expect definitely a chance for the Golden Alakazam, Golden Alakazam Lugia, and maybe, um, yeah, I would just expect something more than that. There's, <laughs> that was like crazy dry. Sorry about that, Wes. Wes had the worst pulls of the night so far because he went so deep and didn't really pull any full arts. Jeff Leon says, one live custom booster, Mr. Jeff. Do, 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 do. Cling clang. You got it. It's clink clang. Clink clang. How do you say that? Clin clang. Clink clang? God, dude, I hate this Pokemon. All right, Jeff Leon. <laughs> dude. He's like a worse version of Magnemite Magneton. Peter Waddington says one custom booster. You got it, Mr. Peter Waddington. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mr. Peter, you got a Stunfisk V. Whew. Peter, we didn't ship you, right? No, your bag's over here. Actually, here, let me grab all these. The moment I took your bag out, they all slid forward. James Gower's in here, huh? We might have to take that out. If you're addicted to sugar, there's an eye-opening video on YouTube called The American Parasite. I'm addicted to sugar. I'm going to go pick up healthy drinks with less soda. Uh, here's what I have tonight. So I got, I got Propel Water, and uh, it's still sweet, but they used that whole fake sugar or whatever, aspartame or something like that. I don't know where it is. Actually, I don't know what they use. There's there's a few fake. Probably this one, potassium sorbate. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is, sucralose. So they use sucralose. And, uh, you know, it's, I guess maybe, uh, it's all right, I guess. Let me have a drink of it. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. That's right. Yeah, it's a flavored water. It's probably not as healthy as just drinking regular water, but it's probably not as unhealthy as drinking soda. All right, let's see what's next. We got Jason Brown. He says, one live custom, one shining face, and one chilling grain. All right, let's do it. So this is for Jason Brown. <clears throat> Ask part me. <laughs> what? Oh, Jason, what'd you pull? <laughs> Look at this. Jason pulls a beautiful butter, a Butterfree VMAX. That's Butterfree VMAX Hyper Rare from Mr. Jason Brown. He also wants a Shining Fates and a Chilling Grain. Okay, let's find a Shining Fates. Here we are. And a Chilling Grain. Here we are. Let's see if you continue to be lucky. Propel tastes better than Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid? Who drinks Kool-Aid, man? Do people still drink Kool-Aid? How's Kool-Aid not out of business? Here's Whirlipede. Kool-Aid's, it's so antiquated, you know? Oh, man, you do get lucky. You also pull this Senna Scorch VMAX. Wow, and he looks well-centered. Here, let's give him a nice sleeve. Oh, he looks great. All right, congratulations. Coop. Kool-Aid is why Kool-Aid is not a business. Jason Brown, I'm going to go find your bag. Kool-Aid jammers, bro. <laughs> what are those? Are those those little plastic bottles where you twist the top off? I had those when I was a kid. They were a lot of fun. Jason Brown, I thought you'd be right in the front. Didn't you order the other night? Jacob Hughes. Jesse Salinas. Jedediah. Never tasted Kool-Aid. It's, uh, you know, it's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, it, it doesn't even taste good. Like, I remember being a kid, and my mom would, on a rare occasion, she didn't do it very often, but on a rare occasion, she would get those just for, like, a celebration, like Fourth of July, right? And they were so sweet, and they had a, a slight, like, fruity flavor to them. But even I understood they're, like, hot garbage. When I was a kid drinking them, I'm like, this is terrible. Like, I understood right away as a kid that soda was a considerably better product than Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid was like, it was so janky or something about it just wasn't right. 
uh, although the commercial was amazing, so the Kool-Aid Man is very iconic, but the actual product's trash, man. I was born in the early 30s. We didn't have Kool-Aid, just cocaine. Devin Kawamura. Devin Kawamura, one live custom and one shiny star V. I think I still have a bag. What's up, Devin? So, Mr. Devin, I think you actually need a new bag. I believe I shipped you two bags. So, I, you had one really fat bag. I split it in two, and I shipped it your way. Okay? We got a card that I should probably sleeve. Oh, I see. It's off center, huh? So, that is a Hollow Xerneas from Steam Siege, and he's a really lovely card. Kool-Aid? Sneep. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I need to get some rest. So we got Calyrex. After this, I'm going to go play some games, I think. Yeah, I really ought to set up my uh, streamer setup already. You know, down in, in my basement, I have a brand new TV. I got a brand new couch. You know what I need? I need a console down there. That's what I need to think about next. I need a console. I'm drinking a soda currently. <laughs> All right, that's for Devin Kawamura. Nothing too wild coming out of that. <clears throat> coming out of that, Mr. Devin. Mr. I'm sending you Kool-Aid now. <laughs> okay. Damn, the 30s. How old are you? He's probably kidding. <laughs> Born in the... I mean, the, from the 30s. He would be deathly old if he was actually from the 30s. Yeah, he'd be like 90. He's lying. <laughs> He's not hanging out in a kid's Pokemon card stream at the age of 90. It's just not happening. Okay, now we've got Nathan Sumter, who says 10 more chilling pokies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chilling rain is very popular right now. This is why everyone's opening. Here we go. Sleep. I'm 72. What is this? <laughs> Sleep. I wonder who is the actually oldest person here. Does anyone want to reveal their age if you think you're the oldest? Now, you have to be honest with us, though. Like, anyone can claim to be old. Like, Toro Teal can claim to be 60, and we'd have no way of proving it. But who here thinks that they are actually the oldest? 34. I'm 12. 26, 36, 35. Lots of, a lot of you guys are roughly my age. Here's Brawly. 30, 28, 36. 36 is, if he's being honest, that one's pretty pretty old. Here's Bon Sweet. Still taking orders? I sure am. Here's Blitzel. 21, 22. Big 22. <laughs> Scott says he's 33. Boomers unite. <laughs> Here's Aircross. 30 support group. That's what this is. Here's Haunter. <laughs> 27, 28. You guys have almost crossed over into your 30s. Are you nervous? <laughs> Josh says he is 30. Pokey Sly says 33. Uh, Richard says 39. Hmm. Richard's going to cross over in his 40s if he's being honest. And Grookey. Wow, was that 10 cold packs for Nathan Sumter? Nathan, let's go through them real fast. Damn, Nathan. Well, that's why we have this lovely pity pole pile. Here is a bonus Umbreon VMAX. Holy. Donated to you from Tammy Lowe on her birthday. Now, Nathan, you have a bag right over here. There we go. Now we have Brooke Williams, who says, very first purchase, been watching for a month. Going risky, one live booster. You got it, Mr. Brooke Williams. Nice to meet you, Brooke. Brooke, is that a girl's name? Do, 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 do. Meowth. Sorry, Brooke, just one Meowth. I'll get you a bag. Why are all the bags coming out backwards? Pokey Lives Matter. I can, That is a message that I can really get behind. Pokemon Card Lives Matter. So here's Brooke Williams. We must stop the cycle of violence. We must stop the cycle of cold pools. Here's Brooke. When you hit 30, everything her, enjoy your 20s. Yeah, definitely in my 30s. Uh, 
you get a lot more back pain, that's for sure. So if you're in your 20s and you're doing physical work, you probably are if you're a guy. You might be, uh, you might be lifting really heavy things or you might be playing sports. When people tell you, you know, lift with your knees, not your back, man, they're not kidding because you don't think about the crippling side effect of damaging your back and how permanent it is. It's very permanent. You don't recover from it. So if you actually injure your back, you're just, that's it for you. You're going to have, the way back pain works, it's every single day. You wake up, you have back pain. You go to the doctor. I actually did this. I went to the doctor. He's like, oh yeah, you just have back pain. And that's it. They just tell you you have back pain now. So for the love of God, don't injure your back. Like I, I injured my back. I had a lot of physical labor jobs. I lifted a lot of heavy things because I thought I was Superman. When something's really heavy, over the over the weight of 70 pounds, don't be a boss. Go get somebody to help you lift it. And in your 30s, enjoy not having a slightly injured back. It's a terrible, terrible thing to have an injured back in your 30s. It's depressing even. There was a moment where I was like, wow, I have like a bad back. And I realized that in my 30s. And I realized that one day that it was just kind of here to stay and only get worse. And it was like, I had depression at that point. So it's even depressing when you realize how permanent it is. And if you're in your 20s being stupid right now, hopefully some of you guys are listening to this and going, okay, I won't be an idiot. But I think probably what surprised me about back injuries, because I had a really bad one. What surprised me about back injuries, you underestimate. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this, and you're probably not going to listen, but I'm telling you, you are underestimating how easy it is to have a back injury. It will happen suddenly. It will be... On a, on a thing that you thought you could pick up easily. I mean, you can. You can pick it up easily, but not without hurting your back. So take care of your back, guys. You, you don't get to do normal things once you've had a back injury. Leaning over hurts. Bending down hurts once you've had a back injury. Sitting hurts when you have a back injury. Even sleeping hurts. So please don't hurt your back. It's not worth it. George Smith, he says, I'd like nine Star Wars and six Towering Perfection plus live shipping. Oh, but only on my Star Wars. Sounds good, George. All right, George. Sitting down all day is bad for your back, too. That's right. Well, I'm much better at sitting down all day. I sit in a very proper position, and I use pillows uh, to support my back, and I've got a nice chair, too. So all that helps a lot. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got it. Nine Star Wars packs. All right, let's find out. It says there's 140 cards in the collection. So you need all 140 to have a complete collection. Yeah, looking back on my younger life, I realized I considerably underestimated how easy it is to injure your back, but also how permanent the injury is. You don't recover from it. It doesn't work that way. It's permanent, and now you're just unhappy because you got to deal with so like when i move around these days i just move more carefully because i don't want to re-injure it you know what i mean so that's what happens like once you've if you've really messed your back up in the past you can re-injure it by just moving too fast or like moving with too much effort you know like trying to pick something up that's too heavy so you want to be real careful okay george smith and nowadays nowadays i treat my back with like the utmost respect because you know what i don't want to be I don't want to be one of those 70 year old men who's like a hundred percent hunched over because their back is just absolutely destroyed. You know what I'm talking about? You seen those guys that walk into like the grocery store? They're like a hundred percent bent over. They're like at a 90 degree angle. All right. We got Mr. Mr. Darth Vader. Here's Luke Skywalker. Job of the Hutt's henchman. These are in really good condition, if you think about it, for being from 1993. Yoda. The Ewoks. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a little sticky. Because it's Slave Leia, of course it's a little sticky. But unfortunately, this is suffering something that a lot of Topps cards suffer from, and that's the sticky artwork sticking to each other. So that card's not going to be able to grade 10. So hopefully in one of these packs, you pull this card again, but it's in a different spot in the pack. Okay, so we got Darth Vader. The pig is a pig knight. Rancor. Uh, Leia as an assassin. Chewbacca. 
Here's... Who is this again? An early Rancor monster. So this would have been the Rancor's early design. There we go. Leia once again, and another Pig Knight design. It's kind of cool. We've seen all these cards now. And it's like, you kind of are ready for another set, you know what I mean? But still, for anyone trying to collect all this set, it's still very fun. Okay, what do we got here? We got all the assassins. Remember that scene? Such a cool scene. The doctor with Luke's hand. The emperor. C-3PO. Uh, another cover art. The Rancor. These two cards back here are always sticky. Rancor and the henchman and the evil emperor. Totally different version of him, huh? So crazy. You can search a card on Pokey Lector. Whoop. You're talking about XY Phantom Force? You know, Phantom Force has that silver Dialga, but you know that booster box is crazy expensive. What an expensive booster box that is. There we go. Card's sticking there a little bit. So we got Darth Vader on Hoth. There we go. Here's a cover art for New Hope, it looks like. No, that wouldn't be New Hope. What would that be? Return of the Jedi? Revenge of the Sith? I'm not sure which one that is. Here's the robots with their musical instruments. Here's a Christmas card. Happy birthday, R2-D2. Early design. Here, let's get this back card off. Early design of the Pig Knight. Early design of Job of the Hut. Look at that. And an early design of the Pig Knights. Kind of cool the way it all worked out, isn't it? Job of the Hut's early design was really, really ugly. I don't know if I like him more as a slug or more like as that card. He gets creepier the more humanoid he is, you know what I mean? Like, he's more acceptable as an ugly alien. Because you're like, he's an alien, of course he's ugly. But an ugly human? Like, it's really creepy then. Now, what is this? Look at this. That says Hollywood back there. <laughs> While most businesses might send drab change of address postcards, having an artist like Ralph McQuarrie on staff let the folks at Lucasfilm send out this intriguing card when they moved off the Universal Studios lot to their own building down the street. Another kind of movie, another kind of move is that of Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter on the exhaust port. <laughs> what? All right. Look at that. Return of the Jedi. That looks very cool. The saga continues. Revenge of the Jedi. Hoth. This awesome artwork with Darth Vader. Early concept of Yoda. That looked really stupid. Guess he was going to be like a gremlin. <laughs> the Rancor. And another Job of the Hut early design. Where are the sexy waifus? Now, there's a few sexy waifu cars, cards. I, I've got them all memorized. There's three different uh, bikini Leia's. And there's one that's sexier than the rest. And then there's the one Job of the Hut card where there's like the kneeling girl in this string bikini or whatever it is. She's like nearly nude. Those are probably the two sexiest cards out of this set. So if you don't have them, you might want them. And you might want to try and get them to grade 10. So cover art, cover art, another cover art, another cover art. And yet again, another cover art. Lando Calrissian. All right, and early concept of Yoda, and Lando, the same card twice. Well, this one at least is in good condition. Like, look. Ah, see, that one looks good. Lando goes from an um, amoral scoundrel to general in the rebel forces. By the time the Ewok party, he has envisioned wearing a tailored outfit with the best to ward off the forest channel. Lando disguises himself as a skiff guard to infiltrate Jabba the Hutt's crew and help Luke and Leia, Luke rescue Leia and Han from the clutches of the Galactar, Galactic Gangster. Man, what a great movie. So sad what they did with the Star Wars on the, on the sequels. Oops. There we go. We've still got three packs to go, man. Holy. This is for George Smith. George, after this, we'll get your towering perfections.
Wow, these are really stuck. All right, there we are. Now look at that. Look at this residue between the pack and the card. So when you open these old packs, you are not guaranteed they will be in perfect condition. Here's Dark Star Wars Dark Empire. Cover art. R2-D2 with little, like, bunny weird things. Oh, here we go. What is this? Five out of six? I don't remember. Oh, Obi-Wan and Yoda. Oh, mister. Beautiful. And these are, like, the chase cards in the box. This is what you're going for, guys. Now, it says there's a total of six of these. We've seen Luke. We've seen Vader. We've, we've seen Chewbacca, C3, C-3PO. We've seen uh, Ben and Yoda now. I think there's still one we haven't seen. Probably like a Leia card is the only one I can think of. Oh, right. We saw there's a Han Solo card. So there must be like a Leia card somewhere. Yeah, that's cool, man. Obi-Wan and Yoda. This is sticking too. Whew, did you see it jump? <laughs> All right. So what do we got here? Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't go through the rest of these. We got... Is this an early concept for Han? Original sketches for Han Solo showed him in a tailored military outfit that looked more like a general than a rapscallion. But George Lucas quickly made it clear that his heroes and villains wouldn't be clad in the kind of spandex-tight, futurist, futuristic duds that were the hallmark of the early 1950s sci-fi epics. Han showed here in Nilo Rodis Jamero sketches from Return of the Jedi kept the same basic look throughout the entire trilogy. Oh, very interesting. So cool. R2-D2 again. Cover art, cover art, cover art, cover art. Lots of cover arts. <laughs> I, what I like best about this is that you learn a lot about how the movie was designed by seeing these old uh, sketches. You know what I mean? Now, here's this pack. So we've got cover art. There's the pig knight. This looks like a Marvel comic, doesn't it? Rancor. Uh, Leia Assassin. The Chewbacca's. Cynthia Martin. Sticky card. There we go. Lando and Han having their card game where Han wins the uh, Millennial Falcon, presumably. <laughs> All right, go ahead and sleeve these back up. Last pack, are you ready? Did I play Star Wars Battlefront? I played a ton of Star Wars Battlefront. It was an amazing game. Here's Vader and the Assassins, Luke's Hand, the Red Guard, the Emperor's Guard, C-3PO, cover art, sticky card. Wow, you didn't get like hardly any of the sexy Leia's. Oh, speaking of which, here's one. Damn, both of your sexy Leia's were the sticky artwork. Sticky cards, sticky for other reasons. All right. That will be all eight, all nine packs of your Star Wars. You end up with two of the Leia's. So there's a total of three Leia artworks, and you missed the Leia artwork that's really sexy. You got the two other Leia artworks. Here is your uh, Obi-Wan and Yoda. I think that's fantastic, Mr. George, don't you? I can tell you what I'll do. I'll put this in the middle. Let's get this shipped out. He ordered live shipping for this. I actually really appreciate that you did that, Mr. George. Save some uh, room. Okay, cool. Now for your label. Have we not shipped you before? Let me go look up your shipping address. Kitty's over here yawning. Are you tired, Kitty? I think Kitty's tired. All right, I got your address. Your address beginning with 62, George, 62. Here we are. And it is a little bit heavier, so let's go ahead and raise the weight. Oh, hit the print button. <laughs> All right, George Smith, these are on the way. Who's next? Oh, no, wait, we got your Towering Perfection as well, right? So you got a really big order. So he needs six Towering Perfections. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That is for George Smith. 
Rudy is like a peak collector. He buys pallets just to sit on nowadays. <clears throat> Sleep. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Is that collecting or is that just running a card shop? I think there's a bit of a difference. So like if you buy a pallet of sealed product, you're not buying that to collect it. You're buying it so that you can sell it at a later date for money. That's just running a card business. I, I'm familiar with it because I do something kind of similar. Cold. And you've got Dialga. Oh, man, these have been a little cold. Last pack is also Caillou Ram. So, Mr. George Smith out of the Towering Perfections, just two hollows. George Smith. Collecting would be like if he, if he collected a complete set of his favorite set that would be a little more on the collecting side i'd say it's a little bit of a difference gregory are you up top maybe you're up top he started as a collector though and just grew to those levels well maybe it's just because he realized he makes a lot of money doing that you know what i mean like i said there's a little bit of a difference between money making and, and collecting Although the, it's not like the two are ever completely uh, disconnected. But, you know, if you're buying like a pallet of cards, you're not buying it because you think the pallet looks good. Collecting is about collecting something you think looks good. Okay, let me go ahead and refresh. Busy night, huh? Okay, it's been a busy night. Even though we started like an hour and 20 minutes late, still busy. So where was George Smith's order? See, Jack Gray made an order. We have an Augustus Bushman. James O'Brien made an order. Here it is. Now we have a Mr. Ronaldo Nunez. Another five, ghost of the past. Wow, dude. Mr. Ronaldo's going deep on these ghosts of the past, huh? One, two, three, four, five. You got it, Ronaldo. Now, Mr. Ronaldo, I still got to get your cards shipped out, right? That's really important to me. So I need to figure out how to ship out your cards to you. Sneep. One, two. I, I'm going to try and get your cards shipped out tonight again, Mr. Ronaldo. Did you uh, update your address at all in PayPal, Ronaldo Nunes? Here we go. Ronaldo. Laval Lol. Laval Val. There we go. Laval Val. Salamander. Pack number two. Metal Foes, Mask Change, Madolce, Gear Town, and a really big name back there. Again, this is for Ronaldo Nunez. Ronaldo N Nunez, we're opening your cards. Hold. Here's Metal Foes, Phantom Knight, Gigantus, Gear Town, and another Salamander. Here's Mind Mole, Emergency Teleport, Time Thief, Sunseed, and Hieratic Seal. Ooh. All right. No Ghost Rares in those five packs, mister. So I'm sorry for that. North Korea is filled with brainwashed people. There's no choice but to restart. What? Hating... Tori Tail got me hating North Korea reading those comments. What's going on? You guys you guys aren't down with uh, North Korea? I thought we were all North Korea friends. I have no idea what goes on in North Korea. Our North Koreans are all the free people and we are all the oppressed. <laughs> You're the brainwashed ones, says Kim Jong-un. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Ronaldo, I really would like to ship him out. I'm going to try and get you a label right now, Ronaldo. They are forced into the brainwash. What? Let's free North Korea with military might. What? Let's not. All right. So we've got Mr. Ronaldo's address again. Oh, I can see it's changed a bit. Okay, cool. I can see it is changed. Ronaldo Nunes. And let me grab your email. 
and your bag's quite a bit heavier now. Print. And it still doesn't accept it. The following address was rejected by the address matching system. Please modify the address or remove the recipient from your mailing list. Okay. Can I print it from PayPal maybe? Let me try to print it from PayPal. Let's click ship. Um, let's do other, let's do, uh, I'm sorry. My return address is actually this one. There we go. Okay, so I'm just looking things over. It looks like PayPal is going to let me ship you. We're going to say the package weight is about 14 ounces. USPS tracking, add insurance. Weirdly enough, it seems that PayPal is going to allow me to print you a label. Okay, and I'm going to choose print shipping label. And it's going to use my other printer to do this, so give me a minute. So, Mr. Ronaldo, I am able to ship you through PayPal, which I don't like to do, because PayPal uses my other... It doesn't use my label maker. It uses a real printer. Can I make another order? I'm right now feeling very depressed. Yeah, if you'd like, but, you know, you shouldn't make an order just because you're feeling depressed. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Pokemon cards can solve all your problems. You should you should definitely make an order if you feel like opening some cards, you know, for fun. Kitty, Kara Nichols needs her Pokey hit. All right, give me a minute. There we go. Let me trim this up. North Korea is extremely interesting. It's just a huge shame how controlled they are. What a shame. I've got your label, Mr. Ronaldo. And I'm trimming the excess paper off of it. There we go. Wow, I caught you alive. I watched you two months ago. What's up, man? So, Ronaldo, you now have your label, and I'll be getting you live shipped like you ordered the other night. Very cool. Put this over here. And we'll plug the label printer back in. So we can continue using the label printer, which is much better. You know, I didn't mind that, actually. I kind of like that PayPal lets you print from PayPal. Because, I, you know, that's kind of nice in the sense that you also get to immediately upload the tracking number. I, I wish that. How long is the line if I were to purchase now? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I'd like it if... Uh, go ahead and turn the music back on now. Look at Kitty. She took the trash out of the trash can. <laughs> I don't know why she's like that. Anyways, let me get back to this. <laughs> Alexio Alvarez. He says, two ghosts of the past, please. Okay, you got it, Mr. Alexio. Alexio Alvarez. Real talk, though, could America and the UK ever actually be separated as allies? I feel like we share so much in common. I don't I don't know why we wouldn't want to be allies. We got Dragunity. Okay, that's cold. And Time Thief Hack. Hieratic Seal. All right, no Ghost Rare in these. Here we are. That's for Alexio. Here you go, Mr. Alexio. Alexio, you're ready to be shipped out too. Did you know that? So your bag's gotten real thick. James O'Brien says, one Yugi goes to the past and one Final Fantasy, Opus One. You got it. So here's Ghost of the Past 
And here is a Final Fantasy Opus 1. All right. Opus 1. Oh, that's maximum gold. I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> Thought it looked a little funny. Come on now. There we go. Guess I was grabbing those golds. Whew. What's with everyone going in on ghosts all of a sudden? I couldn't tell you. Ghost suddenly is getting opened. All right, there we go. So this is for Mr. James. We've got a Voker, Black Belt, Shiva. Um, I'm going to need that Shiva card. Thief, Fairy, Knight, Ranger, and Hope. You got Hope Hollow. Okay. Holographic Hope. We didn't lose. We chose not to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's Orin, Fang, Seymour, and Golbez. Golbez is a legendary rare. So there you go. But obviously your best card is this naked Shiva. Shiva? Nothing beats a naked Shiva. Now how about the Ghost of the Past? Dragoonity! No Ghost Rare in here, huh? Okay. You got your peepee -pee stuck in a pineapple. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, pineapple juice is going to start breaking down your wiener skin. So where's the James O'Brien bag? That's the question. Where is the James O'Brien bag? Here it is. It's Mr. James. Mr. James. Woohoo! Next up, we've got... Augustus Bushman. He says a pack of evolutions and two packs of Blue Sky Stream. Okay, here's a pack of evolutions. And two packs of Blue Sky Stream. I don't know, feels tingly. When that thing goes through, I'll take the store credit instead, so don't do a refund and don't ship me. Mr. Casey, you're all over the place, man. Sounds good. So... In that case, I'll wait for the refund. I'm sorry, I'll wait for it to finish, and then you'll get store credit instead. All right, that's cold. Here's Jump Pluff. How far am I in the queue? Uh, you're in there. Here's Charmander. Doug Trio, Mewtwo. There's been a lot of people asking, hey, when's my turn? I feel like this happens all the time. You guys you're learning that there's always pretty much a line to open open up cards. And that's just kind of how it works. It's like you've gone to you've gone to the restaurant during rush hour and everyone's ordering a McChicken right now and you're just gonna have to wait a while, man. Augustin Bushman. Now you're new, right? Augustus Bushman? I don't recognize your name. You're getting a new bag. No pineapple eats flesh. I ordered two minutes with WTF. The channel's definitely growing. All right, Augustus. I think the worst wait we ever had, I think one time somebody waited nearly three hours for their packs. That was a long time ago. And there was something special going on that day. I think we had a big YouTuber in there and he was causing the line to be even longer than usual. But yeah, some people one time they waited three hours for their opening. Jack Gray says, one ghost of the past, one towering perfection. Okay, so Jack says, I'm going to snipe those ghosts of the past. And here is a towering perfection. Let's go ahead and sneep. Sneep. Mister, I want to donate my hollows. Who's saying that? Alexio. Your tacky hollows. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I call them bulk hollows. Oh, man, Jack, if you had pulled a Ghost Rare, that would have been nuts. Okay, so there's your your Ghost of the Past, and here is Ludicolo. Nothing too wild for you this time, Jack. Jack, did we put your bag somewhere strange this time? I don't remember. Jack Gray, are you, like, up top? I feel like you might be up top. Jason Brown, J. Manuel, Jack Walsh. So you're not up top. Let's just check the regular box now. 
The wait time is 89 minutes is what James O'Brien just said. So he waited 89 minutes. You might wait less than that because as we approach the end of the live stream, things tend to catch up by a lot more. You know, the, the wait time tends to become a lot more bearable, but it's probably going to be in that range of an hour. Where is Jack Gray? Jack Gray, you also didn't mention if you had a bag. James, Michael, maybe you're on the side here. God damn, dude. There's way too many J-bags. James O'Brien's over here. Rodolfo, Jack... James Gower, that's James Gower. We should move James Gower's bag into the sport box so that he can combine. John Loman. You got a bag, Mr. Jack Gray? You know, Jack didn't say he had a bag, but I'm sure he's got a bag. I know Jack's got a bag. Jack, you're getting a new bag for your holographic cards. Jack's in a booster box, mister. All right, sounds good. He's in a booster box. Oh, I know what's going on. <laughs> he's in the J Overflow box, like the... The third or fourth overflow box, isn't he? Yep, here he is. God damn, dude. There's just too many boxes, too. Like, what the... I'm looking all over. <laughs> Ridiculous. You know, there's only three bags in that box because those bags are that large. I should just have Mr. James Gower ship out. Toro Teal says, One live custom. Keep the hollow and please let me know how many rounds of shipping my bag would need at this point. Probably two. You'll need two rounds of shipping. Doot, 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 doot. Poochina. I'm sorry. That is a Pooch Yina. Now we've got Mi Mitchell Galvez. Give me four battle styles. Okay, four battle styles. Two, three, four. And three blue sky stream. All right, so this is for Mitchell. Hey, mister, do you sell ETB? Uh, of Shining Fates and Champions Path. Yes, if you order 10 of those, you get the... Um, you get the Full art out of the box. Snip. And snip. All right. Here goes for Mr. Mitchell. We've got Karina. Here's Santa Conda. Can Alex, Alex have their own box? That's right. We're creating an, a special box just for people who have Alex in the name. Here's Cheryl and Tapu Coco. Hey, mister, I had one DBZ, no? Oh, yeah, and a Supreme Rival. You're correct. Don't worry, I'll go grab that. Sorry about that. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. See, I feel a little pressure to go faster. Here's Toxtricity. Here's a Trevenant. Trevenant V. All right. Okay, Trevenant V. And a cold pack. Let's go get that Supreme Rivals. Oops. Now one Supreme Rival. Let's see. Back here. Sneep. Do, 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 do. We've got Royal Supremacy. He's so supreme. I'm going to speed up and try to get that weight line down. So for Mr. Mitchell. Now, Mitchell, I think you started the other day. Let's go see if I can find your bag. Yes, your bag is right here. Mitchell Galvez. That wasn't so hard. That was easy. There you go, Mitchell. Woohoo! Jeff Leon, he's got a big order. He says three chilling rain. Okay. I've got two chilling rain. I gotta open some more chilling rain now. Cheese shared a photo once. Um, that's a highly illegal. Someone sniping that ghosty? Ghosty. What? That one guy was all over me after I shared a pic. Lol. You had a guy on you? In Cheese's fantasy, he was. So, 
He also says, send the Pikachu, Sylveon, and Umbreon. You choose the last one. In TCC, we trust. <laughs> so this is more of a CGC order, isn't it? Snip. In CGC, we trust. Or in TCC, I mean. <laughs> cool. He's ready to FaceTime you. He's going to say, he's like, do you got an Insta? Bro. <laughs> Here's a Celebi VMAX. That's really nice. His face paint. What are you guys talking about? Dude, this channel, this comment section got kind of homo really fast. Holy moly. She's like bragging. He wanted me so bad. Now that you're a cult leader, what's your next goal? Grade some Pokemon cards. That would be my next goal. Okay, so what did you want? You wanted Pikachu, Sylveon, Umbreon. Okay. Here's Pikachu. Here's Sylveon. I mean, there's Umbreon. Here's the Sylveon. Okay, and, and I get to choose the next one, huh? Definitely Peony. Peony. Peonya. Whatever her name is. So those are going to be my top choices for you. And now we need the card graders. Two, three, four. Mary's the only guy I need in my life. Mr. I sent this is my first ever order. It says, dream, dream. Oh, very cool, dream, dream. Hope you have a fun time. Now, if any of you guys are confused about ordering or, or how ordering works, I made a little video that talks about the process. You can go watch that video. There's a link in the description. And it's probably a good idea to watch the entire video before you make any orders so that you kind of get an idea. Here's Pikachu. All right. Wow, those are really fancy. For Mr. Jeff Leon, right? Right, Jeff Leon, and we're going to go ahead and mark these all C1. You know, I'm thinking about it. It would make a lot more sense to put the name on the top and the letters down here because it's more likely that the letters will not cover the edge of the card if they're looking at the card through the card grader. I don't know if they do that. I presume they take every card out of the card grader. That's what I presume. Okay, now we have Matthew Mangiello. Oops, come on now. Matthew Mangiello, how's it going, man? He wants one live custom and two battle styles. You got it. Welcome back, Matthew. Matthew, you get Jinx. Oh, man. Jinx. And what was it? Two battle style. Yes. Did you open Dennis Hammers yet? Had to go AFK for a bit. Just make sure I didn't miss it. Uh, I don't think we've opened a pack for Dennis Hammers yet. No. I don't think so. Now, Matthew, he pulls Tapu Bulu and Firo. That is a cold round, Mr. Matthew. Opening lots of English today. I guess it's because we're all out of those Eevee heroes that everyone wants to open. Sylvester Sand. He says four Star Wars. You got it, Mr. Sylvester. First Star Wars for Mr. Sylvester Sands. Sneep. You ready, Mr. Sylvester? Pack number one is Darth Vader. Darth Vader, cover art. Darth Vader again, New Hope. We've got Dagobah Han. 
a general and a TIE uh, X fighter. Yeah, so originally they wanted to actually put Han on Dagobah. Did you guys know that? According to that artwork, they were like, yeah, we thought Han on Dagobah would be really cool. Put this back in here. Do you want to become Mr. August on my feet calendar? <laughs> yes. How do I sign up for this right away? <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Some more Star Wars. We also have Star Wars and Star Wars. This was the original art concept for the little team. Look at that. Very different from what they ended up with. How cool is that? Very cool. All right, now we've got Luke and Leia. Luke and Leia. Luke, Leia, and Han. The evil emperor, Boba Fett. Lando Calrissian. That's clearly Chewbacca in there. Chewbacca and them about to be eaten by the Crusher, the Compactor and whatever monster lives within it. That was a pretty nerve-wracking scene, wasn't it? You're like, no, they're going to die. Getting crushed by a compactor, that's a horrible way to die if you think about it. Like being thrown in a box baler. You guys ever seen one of those at a retail store? <laughs> okay, we got R2-D2, C-3PO, Yoda, Lando. Oh, what is this? We've got... Is true. Chewbacca and C-3PO. Woohoo! All right. Very lucky, man. Very lucky. So that was for Sylvester. Sylvester. You being silly, Sylvester. One, two, three, four, and five. Sylvester Sands. He doesn't say if he's got a bag. Let's go looking. Here he is. He does have a bag. You can have my Chewbacca, mister, says Alexis. What? What kind of Chewbacca? I think he's just being funny. Now we've got Team Rocket Grunt, who says, let me get the live custom snipe. Can you show my cards in my bag real fast? Let's go ahead and start with the snipe, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt. It is just a Zangoose, not a snipe. Sorry about that, mister. Now you're also saying you want to see your cards. Did we move your cards? Did we move you up top? Here it is, Team Rocket Grunt. So we're gonna take a quick look at your cards. Kakuna. You got Schoolgirl, Blaziken, Suicun, got Lycan Rock, lots of hollows. Okay, Far Fetched, Holographic Red Forceful Strike. That's kind of cool. And now Zangoose. Okay, so your bag's not too crazy, but that's all right, because you got your Gym Challenge Booster Pack on the way. Justin Russell. Justin Russell says, no bag, named Justin. He wants three Sword and Shield Japanese Blue Sky Stream. You got it, Justin. This is for Justin Russell. Mr. Justin. Mr. Justin, last name Russell. What's up, Justin? Okay, that's cold. Cold. And just a Zygarde today. I think he said he's getting a new bag. New bag, Justin Russell. Thank you, Justin. All right, you've got your own bag on the table now, and but just the one card in there, huh? Adam Vinson, give me a double chilling rain snipe. We got two chilling rains just for you. Busy night, huh, guys? Wow. Adam Vinson. Snip. Pack number one for Adam Vinson contains honey. It's honey. Pack number two contains Agron. All right, no wild pulls this time, Mr. Adam Vinson. Now, Adam, where am I going to find your bag? 
Here you are, Adam Vincent. Boop. Cheese says, I need another box of chilling. We've got Mr. Cheese who says, Cheese says one live custom. You might be getting lucky here, Cheese. Let's find out. No, Cheese, you got Tauros. I'm sorry, Cheese. Got your hopes up there. Something's in that box. Cheese, I had a feeling that it might be time for a hit, but it is not. It is time for a Tauros GX. Now we've got Dennis Hammer, One Sword and Shield, Blue Sky Stream. I have no bag. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dennis. This is Dennis's first order, Dennis Hammer. How many cards are in the bulk break? Uh, between 600 and 700, there's no exact count. You pull one Salamance Hollow, Mr. Dennis Hammer. Welcome to the table, Dennis. It's your first order. I'll save it up for you. Dennis the Menace. There we go. Dennis Hammer with the D. Wow, D box is full. Danny Marks, two chilling grain. All right, Danny Marks. This is for Danny Marks. At least it's the hollow I wanted. Oh, nice. Yeah, the Salamance hollow looks good. Here's a Celebi. Danny Marks pulling Celebi V. Second pack. Serena Toros hollow. All right. We're moving just a little bit faster than usual because I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get the, the wait times down as much as I can. So let me grab the D-Box real fast. I don't know. We just can't have the D-Box be this full. That can't be the can't be what we're doing. We're having real problems over here. So the D-Box up top still has some room. We got to decide to take somebody up there. We're taking Dave O'Callaghan and placing him up top. That should help a little bit. All right. Dennis Hammer goes back in the box. Danny Marks, we had to sell be in. There we go. Bags are fitting much nicer now already. Just cause one just cause one fat bag went up top. Now we have Uriel, Siguenza, four battle styles. Keep the reverse hollows. My bag is in the Z box. Sounds good. Uriel, thank you so much, man. Wait, you mean you you want to keep the reverse hollows? Is that what you mean? How much is the magic? Someone wants to know. Uh, I was doing $9 a pack for the magic. There's a total of 10 packs. It's not on the menu. It's just something that you have to order. Sometimes when I have very few of something, I don't put it on the menu because I don't want it to oversell. You know what I mean? There we go. That's for Uriel. One, two, and three, four. Oops. Oops. Come on now. Jesus. <laughs> Falling all over the place. All right. Uriel, you got Phoebe Santaconda. Urshifu. So you've pulled the Urshifu V. I love the alternative arts. Here's Houndoom and Mankey. And Mr. Mime. Wow, Mr. Mime. Uriel with a U. Here's Uriel. Sweet. Oh, Mr. Uriel. Like Uriel Lotion. Now we have Nicholas Ryan. Hello, Nicholas. Can I have five blue sky and one prison basketball? Please have a bag. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. And one prison basketball. Uh, let me make sure that adds up properly. It sure does. All right. I think I did the math wrong in my head the first time. <laughs> G 
Cheese deserves the pionia. What? Is that what you just said? Or did he say he, he wants it? How do I get involved, says Ray Johnson. Ray Johnson, there's a video in the description you can watch that teaches a little bit about how to get involved. So, Nicholas Ryan, good luck. You've got Zygarde, a cold pack, a Gyarados VMAX. How nice. There we go, Gyarados. Oops. Here is a Rayquaza. Look at this Rayquaza. Okay, Rayquaza. Cold pack. Now I'll go ahead and toss these out of the way. How about this prism? Prism is John Wall, Jalen Brown, Saban Lee Rookie, and Jabari Parker. Okay, I don't know about the other three, but here is a rookie. Saban Lee. There we go. So that goes to Mr. Nicholas Ryan. Does Nicholas have a bag? I don't think he does. I have a bag. Okay, Nicholas Ryan does have a bag. Let's go looking for it. Nathan Curtis, Oscar, Nathan, Nick Wieg. Nick Wieg has got a spot in the, the uh, sports. We might put him over there. Nick Wilmoth, Nate M, Miguel Valencia, ends collection, Oscar Vaughn. Michael Levia. Look at this guy. He's just got a hollow. He's going to be pulled out. Okay. So who is this? This is Osmar Aberka. And all he had was one hollow spoink. So we're going to clear his bag off the table because he's been there for a long time. Uh, oh, and Mr. Nick Wieg, I've decided we're going to combine his two bags. He's got a sport bag out here. We're going to put his Pokemon cards with his sport bag. So we're going to do that. I think his... Uh, Pokemon cards would be nice and safe out here, right? Mr. Ni Mr. Nick Wieg. There we go. He's out here with, who's this? Anthony Ravy? Yeah, he's out here with Anthony Ravy. All right, now, we're still looking for Nicholas Ryan, though. Nicholas Ryan. We can kind of move things around a little bit more. Marvin Leon, Mike Spanos, Mikey TV. So he's definitely not here in this box. He said, I have a bag. Here's Nathan Sumter. Now, I think we can move Nathan Sumter over here to the inbox where it should be. Matthew, Mitchell, Mateo, Michael, Miles, Manuel, Morrow. So I don't see you there. We're going to check up top now. It's the last place to check. OSM is up here. Mike Side's up here. Nicholas Lenhart is up here. Matthew's up here. And Mark is up here. All right. Please have a bag, says Nicholas Ryan. Nicholas Ryan, we're creating a new bag for you. Say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. <laughs> I know those lyrics. Oh, I better spell it right. So, Nick... Oh, wow. It's not even Nicholas. It's Nicole's. Nicole's Ryan. Nicole's Ryan. Let's go ahead and write this down properly. Nicole's, I don't remember you having a bag. It's the funny thing. Okay, put that back. And next up, we need to refresh. So that was the end of that line. Do you grade cards? Hopefully soon. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. After Nicholas Ryan, we have Rodolfo Gonzalez. He wants a towering perfection. Give me a minute. Towering perfection. Where, where are my cut packs, says Alex. Yeah, where the heck are they? Wow. 
one blue sky stream and one chilling grain. Snip. And snip. All right. Rodolfo Gonzalez. Cold. Cold. And Flaffy. I'm sorry, Rodolfo. That was a very cold round. Rodolfo with an R. Rodolfo, huh? Ryan Morrill. Richard. Richard Vasquez. Hmm. Oh, speaking of which, we ship this guy. It tossed this off to the side. Raging, Ramiro, Robin. You guys really should uh, let me know the status of your bag. So, Mr. Rodolfo, I don't know if you have a bag or not, because you didn't mention if you did. Like, did you have me? Oh, here it is, Rodolfo Gonzalez. All right, yeah, let me know the status of your bags, guys, when you make an order. Very important. Kara Nichols, girlfriend broke up with me. Give me one hidden, says Kara Nichols. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Kara Nichols. Here's a hidden fates. Whoop. All right, Kara Nichols, maybe you'll pull the hottest Pokemon and feel a little bit better. Oh, you pulled something. Hiker? Yes, that is Hiker. All right, Hiker got pulled. Sweet. Hiker full art. That's for Kara Nichols. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Kara. Boop. And then you meet a strange hiker. And he says, I'll be your girlfriend. I'm Kara's new girlfriend. A trainer I don't have. Sweet. Aaron Thompson. Aaron says, three NBA hoops and live shipping. I have a bag in a slab. Okay, three NBA hoops. So I should have some NBA hoops from the other night. Yes, here they are. So these were the NBA hoops that I traded back from, from Mr. Alex. Here's the little anti-theft device. You ready? <laughs> See, I noticed NBA hoops are not getting ordered as much as they used to. Very interesting. Maybe there's like a new set, a new NBA set that people want. But the timing is actually perfect because I'm nearly sold out of these. So we got Lonzo, Romeo, Bradley, Andre, Damar. Who's this? Allen Iverson. You also have Devin Vassell and Nico Mannion, rookie. <laughs> Okay, pack number two. That's going to be a jersey pack. Congratulations on that. Matisse, Kyle, Eric, Jordan. So you've got Keldon Johnson, rookie. Rookie Remembrance, I'm sorry. And it's his, it's his uh, jersey. Did I say rookie? It's Rookie Remembrance, and you got his jersey. Very cool. You also get Giannis. So here's a Giannis vanity plate. I heard Giannis is a good pull now. And you pull Peyton and Patrick. All right. There we go. Here's Anthony Davis, DeAndre, Malik, Cam, Harry. Finally, over here, you have Anthony Edwards, CJ Ellaby, and Skylar Mays. It's Billy Mays here. Ew, stinky jersey. What? <laughs> Ryan says, cut it. Now, Aaron says he has a bag and a slab. Okay, Aaron, give me a minute. Let me go try and find that. Bag in a slab, Aaron Thompson. Yeah, I really like this music. That's why this one's been playing so long. Andras, Adam, Andrew, Amos, Alejandro, Andre, Andrew. Aaron Thompson, we're in the process of looking for your bag. Alan, Alex, AC. Adam, 
Anthony, Abigail, so you're not behind there. Lots of names of people who came and went. I don't know where they are. They never request shipping. Here's Carlos, Alexander, Christopher. Very interesting. It's probably in the sport book. Oh, thank you, Aaron. That'll probably save me a little time. Let's go over here and check. Okay, not in that one. I know there's Anthony Ravy in this one. Anthony Ravy, Nick Wieg. Yes, so we had just seen that one. This is just too many boxes, man. R. Marquez, Nicola, Nicholas Shazox, Nicholas Lenhart. Francis Santos. Here we go, Aaron Thompson. We found it. That took a lot of work, didn't it? There we go. Getting EDP vibes from Dion. What? <laughs> All right, now, Aaron, let's see if we've shipped you before. I don't think we have, have we? No. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we have not. Okay, give me a minute. He says, I had a slab too. Sounds good, Mr. Aaron. I'll write that down. All right, here we are. I got an address for you that begins with 17. And I'll grab your email. And we'll hit print. All right, Mr. Aaron, your shipping, your shipping address, I think, is correct, and you will be getting an email with the tracking number as well. Oh, let me write down that you had a slab first. Although, I, I just check every order for a slab these days. There we go. You guys want to see Kitty? <laughs> She's so cute. All right. Now we have Alexio. He says, two, goes to the past. You got it, Alexio. Two, goes to the past. Two past ghosts. Oh, man, you've done it now, Alexio. You've done it now, Alexio. Snip. There we go. Pull that back a little bit. Photon, Ojoma, Dragoonity. All right, nothing crazy there. But Dolce, Mask Change, Cosmo, and Starry Night. I'm sorry. No Ghost Rare in there. Remember when Misty almost got rid of Kitty? Yeah, she was just puking nonstop over and over and over again. She still pukes a lot, actually. Yeah. But it wasn't up to me. It was up to my wife. My wife was thinking about getting rid of her. She was being really nasty to my wife, but she's actually been nicer recently. Isn't that weird? She, like, got nicer, and there's no really... Actually, we think after we moved that maybe she got nicer because she felt like there was more space. So we thought maybe the small the small living space we were living in was making her feel like she didn't have enough space, you know what I mean? Alex says, donate my hollows. Donate my hollows. Okay, we do have a few here. Here's a little weedle. So you've got these Ghost of the Past Hollows. I'm assuming you would like to keep those. I don't really know their value, but I mean, I don't know much about Ghost of the Past at all, to tell you the truth. But here's some Pokemon Hollow Bulk. Are you opening packs? Uh, no, I'm just staring at the packs. Ronaldo says, 10 Ghost of the Past. Let me get a new bag, mister. All right, you got it. New bag. Actually, I can still ship these out tonight. So these can go out with your other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. I am very surprised. This is for Ronaldo Nunez. Good luck, Ronaldo. Here goes. WTF is that EDP dude. EDP. What's up with EDP? Whatever happened to him? Did he get in trouble? 
He didn't get in trouble, did he? He solicited, uh... No, I remember. Some kind of some kind of group that was trying to do, like, a, um... A trap or whatever. What do they call those? I'm so-and-so, and you're on... Gosh, I don't remember the name of it. <coughs> Excuse me. He got caught being tempted to meet up with the minor. Chris Hansen style. That's the name I was looking for. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is Dateline NBC. Took me a second to remember it, see? Mister is EDP confirmed. You can tell by my light skin that I'm EDP. <laughs> All he wanted was a cupcake. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, cold. He got in trouble because there was a little scrappy group. I think it was just one guy, actually. And he was laying a trap to to tempt EDP into meeting up with the miner, and EDP fell for the trap. And he showed up, presumably for sex with the miner, and I don't think he ever got in trouble, which doesn't seem right, you know? But I don't know. Okay, that was the first three packs. Pack number four. Galaxy Eyes. Dracunity. Starry Night Sky. Well, that's a really nice looking card. But there's no Ghost Rare in these three packs either. Cheese says, I need a box of chilling. All right, Cheese, let's get you a whole box. Time Thief, Meteor Black. Yeah, he said some really, really bad things online to... Oh. To what he thought was a little girl. Sorry about that. So that's your Tackle Crusader. I'm being a little rough with these. Tackle Crusader. If it was a Ghost Rare, of course, I would be very careful. <laughs> Just kind of flipping through these because I guess they're all hollow, so there's no way that they're super valuable if they're hollow because they're all hollow. Shooting Dragon. <clears throat> Shooting Dragon. Wow. Danger Thunderbird, Metal Foes, Miracle, Modolce, and Hell Shadow. I apologize, no ghost rare in there. Wow, these ghost rares are hard to find, everyone. He sent a picture of his poop. Wow, that is kind of gross, but very ballsy. He did actually, didn't he? I remember that. I heard of Chris Hansen. I'm Chris Hansen. Have a seat, right over there. What are you doing here? Oh, I don't know. Just being kind of stupid, I guess. Mr. Ronaldo? Sorry about that, mister. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in your bag. So that's gonna go out with your other cards, Ronaldo. Now we have, we have a bill from Parker. Parker, I don't think you meant to send that. We have an order from Bridget. Hello, Bridget. One Battle Styles. I actually like that name, Bridget. One Japanese Silver Lance. One 25th anniversary McDonald's pack. And here's the McDonald's pack. And Bridget says, hi, guys. What's up? Good luck with your pulls. Sleep. Sleep. Just my first name on my bag, please. This order is me. I'm afraid I must do your full name. That is a requirement. Your full name is very important because it's used to uniquely identify you as the person who owns these cards. We all have our, our full names. My full name is Derek Caton, so you can have my full name. It's okay, we're all friends here. Nobody's watching you go into, presumably, I don't know what they do with your last name. So this is my full name, and we all just kind of put our full names on the bags, like Mr. Brooke Williams or Miss Brooke Williams, and, and that's okay. We're all, just, we're all just people. You ready? Here goes. Can you do my nickname, says Jake? Uh, I can do your full name. So here's Silicobra and Luxray. That's a cold pack. And from the McDonald's pack you pull. Yeah, actually, we don't know Toro Teal's name because she goes by a business name, I believe. Here's Chespin. All right, Chespin. Silicobra Luxray. Can you just do my astrological sign? Mr. Nice Beard. Yeah, I got a little bit of a beard going on these days. I do not have a bag. 
Sounds good. Let's get you a fresh bag. I'm a girl and my name is Dave. I know Toro Teal's name, says Alex. <gasps> Toro Teal. All right, Miss Bridget, you're just one of many, many, many names on the table. Lots and lots of people here. Next up, we got Augustus Bushman. He says, yes, I am new. And can I get another two packs of evolutions? Much appreciated. I just want a hollow. Here you go, Mr. Augustus. I actually like the name Augustus, too. It's kind of cool. It sounds like Roman or something. So, Mr. Augustus. One and two. Here it goes. We've got Fire Energy and Machamp. Apparently, Machamp is one of the most printed cards ever. This Machamp right here. He was printed for the base set starter deck. And apparently, they printed like a bazillion of those. So, he's there's just so many of them. Here's Starmie. You got Starmie Break. All right, Starmie Break. All right, very cool, man. Augustus. That's a pricey order, isn't it? Mr. Augustus, you're always looking for that Machamp in those, aren't you? Not Machamps. You're always looking for those Charizards, but this time you pull the Machamp. That's what I was going to say. Better luck next time for the Charizards. Jacob Hughes, can I please get 10 Shining Fates, one high-risk booster, uh, okay, sounds good. So this is for Jacob Hughes. Jacob, we'll start with your live custom. And you pull Wondrous Labyrinth. Is this not sleeved? I guess it is just a trainer. Maybe that's why I didn't sleeve it. Wondrous Labyrinth. Yeah, that's a uh, Prism Rare, and they're considered a little better in my opinion. Now, you need a box of Shining Fakes, I see. And we got Shining Fakes right here. Oh, look, it's Shining Fates, the Fates that keep shining. They're so shiny. Out. Ooh. Here's the whole ten packs from the box. And an EV from the box. And a little packet of energy cards. And a little deck sleeve. We've been using those deck sleeves lately. Saved me a little bit of money on penny sleeves. Probably already saved about $3. Kind of adds up, doesn't it? Penny sleeves, uh, you know, they're like a dollar for a pack. But, you know, I go through like a couple packs a day. And then in a month, it's like 100 packs. It's like $100. It's a lot of money. $100 a month just for penny sleeves. Sleep. Go through a few months. Maybe a couple hundred dollars of penny sleeves in a few months, you know. Really interesting to think about. That's just the penny sleeves. Then think about the little plastic baggies. Those don't cost much either. But then we go through like a box of them every couple days. Those are a few dollars a box. So here's Cacnea and Indudu. You did it. He wipes hands on balls. What? That was my idea for you to use the deck sleeves. Oh, they'd been sitting there for a long time. I just wasn't using them because I don't like them as much, but. Uh, the reason we are now using them is because I'm almost out of penny sleeves again. So it's almost time for me to make that order. And I'm like, you know, why don't we just start using the deck sleeves now? And and I'm just sort of giving into that. So I, I've known for a long time I could use the deck sleeves. Here's Ball Guy. Look at Ball Guy. You did it. You pulled the Ball Guy. That's the number one card in the set. <laughs> Not really. So here's Toxel. That's kind of Toxel. Don't be Toxel to each other. Toxel masculinity. Okay, Toxel. Here's Boss's Orders. God, that guy looks kind of goof. 
Here's Ditto Delmize. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume you're not gonna pull Charizard VMAX because you have Ditto and you have Ballman and you have Senna Scorch already. So I don't think there's room for a shiny Charizard VMAX in this box anymore. You'll probably get another shiny hollow though. Float Soul. Mister needs to start charging 10 bucks a sleeve. That's right. What? <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> All right, Jacob, here's your Zigzagoon. Two packs left. Luxio. And Weezing. All right, that's your complete order for Mr. Jacob Hughes. Oh, Jacob. You silly goose. Mr. Jacob, that wasn't too bad, actually. I like the Delmize this time, actually. I don't think I see that Delmize VMAX too often. Now, Jacob Hughes is a JA. I should already have a bag, so let's go find Jacob Hughes. Jesus, Jacob Hughes, right here. Okay, you're not gonna fit up top, are you? Nope, top's full. I guess I will put you on the right in the overflow because you're not going to fit in the regular box either. Nope. So you're on the right now. Mr. Jacob Hughes, you're on the right. Giovanni Bonaire returns. What's up, Giovanni Bonaire? He wants four blue sky stream, five chili rain. I have a big... I have a bag, mister. Sounds good. <laughs> I was reading that wrong. thought you were saying something else. One, two, three, four. Five chili rain. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's for Giovanni Bonaire. Sneak. One, two, three, four, and five. Now for the Blue Sky Stream. Give me a moment. I need to cough real fast. I'll mute my mic. Oh man, I was dying there. Okay, there we go. So that's for Giovanni. Are you ready, Giovanni? Let's see what you pull, Giovanni. You've got Reggie, Cold, Cold, and Cold. Oh man, that's really tough, Mr. Giovanni Bonaire, very tough. Over here we have Ralts, Gallade, Crushing Gloves, oh man, Sawsbug, oh man, and Hatterene. Wow, you really did just get straight cold packs, Mr. Giovanni Bonaire. But don't worry, Giovanni, we're going to make it a little hotter, okay? We're going to get you some of these, okay? You got. I'm going to give you these four because you had such a bad run. Welcome back, Mr. Giovanni. That's a gift from Tammy Lowe. She's the one who funded the uh, the giveaway box. Those are the cold packs for people who have really bad luck. <laughs> Not the cold packs, the pity pulls. Who have really cold pulls. Now we just gotta find Mr. Giovanni Bonaire. I think he said that he had a bag. There's GMAC, we haven't seen GMAC in a little while. Ivanski, Hunter, Henry. All right, well, let me check up here real fast. George Morin, Gene Hyatt, Jeremy Tierney, Giovanni Bonaire. Found you. You got that Erica's Clefairy. It looks adorable. Mister, are you still taking orders? Well, we're 198 minutes in. Uh, if you would like to place an order right now, Mr. Guerrero, I'll accept that, okay? I think I'd like to stop taking orders after that, though, guys. We're pretty full. Matthew Mangiello. He says, one live custom and one chilling rain. Here you go, Mr. Matthew. This might be the lucky pack. Let's find out. No, it's a Dratini. Something pricey in there, I have a feeling. Okay, and one chilling rain. Something pricey in there, I think. I don't know what it could be. You've also got Agatha. All right, tough luck there. Mr. Matthew, let me grab your bag.
Giovanni Bonaire, another order. He says, one live custom booster pack. Well, Giovanni, you might get lucky. Choo, 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 choo. Nope, that's Bill's analysis, Mr. Giovanni. What is in there? I don't get it. And where do we put your bag? Here it is. I don't always remember what's actually in the live custom booster box. Now we have Parker Wilcox. He says 10 champions path. Wow. All right, 10 champions path for Mr. Parker. Give me a minute. Parker, I barely know her. Parker's got a great name. He's got Cox in the name. Oops. All right, good luck. I hope you pull a Charizard. Well, I mean, you always get a Charizard. You get a Charizard V. Now here's your Charizard V. I got this music stuck in my head now. Okay, empty ETB box. Good luck on your 10 Champions Path booster packs. Machamps inbound. Hollow Machamps inbound, that's right. That is a pretty tough set. There's definitely not a Charizard in every box. So this might be a box with the Charizard, but it's more likely to be a, Char uh, a box without a Charizard. Let's see what we get. The Champion's Path is one of the better deals you have. Yeah, that's actually true. And the reason for that is because they don't sell very well. So I'm I'm getting rid of them actually. They're sort of like on clearance, but it doesn't say that. So here's Gardevoir. Here's Altaria Machamp. Here's a Dreadnaw. Oh, look, a Dreadnaw. And I'll, I'll likely be, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Champion's Path is an interesting set. I remember when it first came out, I sold them at a ridiculous price. And people were, like, mad at me, even. They are like, outraged. They are like, I can't believe he could sell it at that price. And I'm like, okay. But then they just all sold. Like, poof, they were gone, you know? And, in fact, they would all sell out in, like, one live stream. And, wow, it's just such an interesting set. People wanted this set so bad. Because it was, like, the first Sword and Shield set to have Charizard. And the Charizard artwork looks so good, too. It was, like, a really cool artwork. Hatterene! So that whole ETB... You got one Gardevoir and one Dreadnought. And that's sort of why I think Champion's Path is so hard to, to sell because it is a little bit pricey, the set is. And you could get an ETB with just these two cards in it, you know? So, but you also get your Charizard V. Okay, so you got your Charizard V. Those were the days. Well, it wasn't that long ago. Mr. Parker, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bag for you. What a horrible box. You know, uh, I hate to say it, Tortille, but that's kind of like a standard box of Champion's Path. Now, the thing is, if your box has the Charizard, there's two Charizards in the set. <clears throat> Three, if you count this one. So if you pull one of the two Charizards, the Charizard V and the Charizard V Max, you do quite well on your box. But if you don't pull it, you do quite bad. And there's some break-even boxes, like, I don't know, maybe you pull... Actually, after the, after the two Charizards, I don't know what the third most expensive card is, but I'm will, willing to bet it's probably the Gardevoir or the Dreadnought, one or the other. I like the Dreadnought better, so I'm not sure, actually. Parker Wilcox. I feel like people forget that Champion's Path is a Dreadnought set. It's got a hyper-rare Dreadnought in it. All right, so I'm refreshing now. The line appears to have gotten much shorter. Who's the guy who pulled like two to three Zards in a row from the ETBs a while ago? That was wild. Yeah, that was Derek Withrow. Isn't there any trainer full art in Champion's Path? Yeah, there are. It's like Piers and uh, the Old Man and I can't remember any others. I cannot remember any others. 
We're coming near the end. So, despite that, we have quite a few orders left. After Parker, we have Mr. Oscar, who says, I'll take six chilling rain and two customs. Well, tonight might be your lucky night, Mr. Oscar, because I, unbelievably, there still hasn't been a hot pull coming out of that box yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oscar Robles. Six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. All right. Oscar Robles. Oh, there we go. You got Celio. Here's Old Cemetery. Oh, very nice. You got Galarian Rapidash Full Art. <clears throat> so this would be considered a secret rare in the Japanese set. That's a really nice pull. Here's Articuno. Articuno V. Chilling Rain, I think, is going to be a popular set uh, for a long time after it comes out. Here's Farfetch'd Inteleon. And because it's got a lot of waifus in it, and it's got some really cool pulls like the Blaziken and the Galarian Moltres. Real solid set, in my opinion. Kind of like uh, Ultra Prism, in a way. Okay, now he also wanted the two customs, and so now we'll see. You ready? One. Uh-oh, that's Nidoran. And two. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now, what is this? CGC 14, and it's got some markers around it. The markers mean that you're, you've pulled something good. CGC number 14. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You did pull a good card. No wonder there were so many spots. I didn't even remember this was in here. Oscar Robles, you're having a good night, mister. Congratulations on that. Anyone would love to have this card added to their set for 40 bucks. And it is. Holographic Sabrina's Gengar from Jim Heroes. Now, this graded 8.5 with CGC. I looked it over, and it's actually quite nice. I mean, look at it. It's, it's really nice. Corners and edges. I think this would have a very good shot at a 9 or high. Well, no, it's not It's not going to grade 10. It's definitely going to grade 9. But also, another thing about it is it's got some hollow bleed to it. So check this out. You see that down there? You don't see that as often with old uh, English vintage cards. But that's some hollow bleed in the regular card. So really nice. That's a big pull, Mr. Oscar. And let's go find your bag. So Oscar with an O, where am I gonna find your bag, Mr. Oscar? That's a hollow bleed swirl. <laughs> yeah, those old vintage cards are so pricey these days. Thanks, you made my night. Can you ship it? Uh, so you're supposed to order live shipping if you'd like. So this right here, uh, this would require live shipping. If your bag was like this big, maybe if your bag was huge, I could probably just ship it without live shipping just to get it off the table. But you're supposed to either do live shipping or get in line for free shipping, okay? So you can get in line for free shipping in the Discord. You just make a, a post. But see, for what I from what I'm looking at, you might make another order tomorrow night. There's a chance of that. And if that's the case, I'm supposed to be asking you to do combined shipping, you know, combine those. So that's why we have the whole live shipping process. So next up, we have Alexio. He says two ghost rares. Alexio says, I'm going to be the one to snipe the ghost rares. All right, here we go. But keep in mind, what if there is no ghost rare in here? You know, guys, they're apparently extremely rare. Let's see what happens. How many do I have left? I am surprisingly running low on ghost, uh, ghosts from the past at this point. Okay, we've got Hieratic Seal. And Hieratic Sky Dragon. Whew. That's true. I'll just wait. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. See, and, and by waiting, you save a little money. 
There we go. Mr. Alexio, cancel my live pack. Thanks. <laughs> cancel my live pack. Thanks. We got Mr. Cheese who says, cut a ghost of the past. Cheese says, cut a ghost of the past. Here you go, Mr. Cheese. Did you cut sports earlier? Was my order? Did you have an order, Mr. Alex, where you requested uh, sports to be cut? Because I did not see that order. Now, it doesn't look like this had a ghost of the past in it either. Nope. Whew. You know, that actually would have been terrible if it did, Mr. Cheese. So let's look for an Alex PSX. Uh, oh, nope, that says one live, actually. Alex, I don't see that kind of order for you, so I'm going to go backwards, okay? And look for it. Parker, Giovanni, Matthew Mangiello, Giovanni Bonaire, Jacob Hughes, Augustus, Bridget, Ronaldo, Alexio, Aaron Thompson, Kara Nicole, Rodolfo, Nicholas, Uriel, Danny Mark, Dennis Hammer, Eduardo, Adam Vinson, Justin Russell, Team Rocket Grunt, Sylvester Sand, Matthew Mangiello, Jeff Leon, Mitchell Galvez, Toro Teal, Jack Gray, Augustus, James O'Brien, Alexis, I'm sorry, Alexio, Ronaldo, George Smith, Brooke William, Nathan Sumter, Devin Kawamura, Jason Brown, uh, Peter Waddington, Jeff Leon, Wes Donini, wow, a lot of words, Jackie Q, Samuel, Stephen Demas, Starwin, Keller Smith, Noel, Brian, Peter, Kevin, Eduardo, Damon Sims, you sure you made the order? Sergio, Jeff Leon, uh, Richard Johnson, Ruben, Evan Shea, Ronaldo, Nathan Curtis, Savan, Danny, Nathan, Dakota, Karen Nichols, Jeremy Helmstadter, Eric Lovato, Nathan Sumter, Matthew, Matthew Cianchio, Jeff Leon, Gregory Mountford. Now we're getting toward the beginning. Nathan Curtis. Yeah, so you never made the order, according to this. Alex says, I'll make the order. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me on a goose hunt. So after, after, after Cheese cuts a pack of Ghost of the Past, we have a Miss Bridget Baumiller who wants two chilling rain. All right, Bridget. Bridget wants the alternative arts. Who knows? Maybe you'll pull it. So I just read out all the orders from tonight. That was a lot of orders, if you think about it. Pretty crazy. Some of those are pretty large, too. Bridget's got far-fetched and... Feel, wow, so nice. Sorry, Miss Bridget, just two hollows this time. Just two hollows this time. Wow, I can't believe that guy got a uh, Sabrina's Gengar. I'm surprised I added that. Augustus, Augustus Bushman says, "Well, I learn. I don't know, but can I get two more evolutions? Let's see what happens." So this is for Augustus Bushman. Guaranteed Charizards. <clears throat> so the goal with evolutions is to pull a holographic Charizard that can grade 10. That's the goal, because those cards are worth a lot of money. Now, they don't grade 10 very often, though. That's the, that's the troubling part. That's the difficulty. They don't grade 10 very often. Wow, Reverse Hollow Pikachu is a great pull, though. Oh, and look at that. There's a bit of a air bubble right there. Shoot. <laughs> well, that looks like a clean nine, though. Here's a Misty's Determination, which I've suspected that Misty's Determination 10 might be valuable. Suspected that for a while. Let me just make sure there's no more secret rares or Pikachus or whatever. Another Arcanine. All right. For Mr. Augustus Bushman. Sorry, Mr. Augustus. No Charizard in there. I like your Pikachu a lot. I wish your Pikachu was a 10. That would be really nice. I think the 10 goes for like $200, $250 for the Pikachu. Christian Style says, let's try a custom. I have a bag. All right, so this is for Christian Styles. Doot, 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 doot. The Bomber card. Ah, darn it. The Bomber card has now reached spot number 10, giving it a value of $200. Bomber. Darn it. All right. Looks like the very back of the box starts roughly here. So now the bomber card's in the back of the box. That sucks, Mr. Christian Styles. 
We have an order from Mr. Alex. He wants one live custom booster. Here you go, Mr. Alex. Alex, you pull a DeWatt. Sorry, Mr. Alex, this is a bit of a bummer for you too, actually. Nothing too wild on that card. Here's Matthew Monchiello, who says one live custom. Mr. Matthew, you're gonna pull choo -choo 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 -choo. Galvantula. You got one Galvantula tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a cool looking Galvantula. I like, you know, I actually think that their idea of combining two types was pretty cool. That's electric and leaf. I don't know why they got rid of it. I thought that was actually very cool. Just like in the video game, right? So, but they, they decided not to do that, huh? Now we've got Juan Garcia. He wants an NBA prism and a live pack. Mr. Garcia, I think you did pretty good anyways. So here's your NBA prism. He said, cancel my live pack. Well, you're actually going to get two packs of team up out of that. I'm, did I say, yeah, I said that right, team up. And the team up packs are not for sale because these are crazy expensive. So you got these two and a shot as something to come out of those, okay? Could get the reverse hollow Charizard or pretty much anything out of this set. Team up's insanely good. Sleep. Sleep. He says, woo, I know, much better than pulling a cold. Now, it's, they could be two cold packs, but we got to find out first. You've got Paul George, Jordan Poole, Denny Avdija, and Jaden McDaniels, rookie. All right, nothing too wild. Apparently, Giannis is a good pull now, so we did not find a Giannis. Let's leave those back up for you. Now, out of your team-ups, oh, that's a team-up with something. It's going to be Incineroar in this team-up. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Slightly off center, but I think with PSA, that would be pretty close to a 10, actually. And in pack number two, oh, it could be your lucky night. What is this? You pull full art Evelyn. That's very hot. So you are extremely lucky in your team up pulls from the live custom boosters. Congratulations, that's full art Evelyn. And there's gonna be a bunch of guys mad at you because they would like to have that themselves. He's like, sick. I mean, let me give you an impression of how much this card costs, right? So your Evelyn looks pretty decent. I feel like educating is really important. So you could buy a Team Up Evelyn for $190 if it grades 10. $190. That's the cheapest one. So it's just a really expensive card. And it's probably not going to be falling in price much because it's already kind of old. You know what I mean? Like team up, a box of team up is ridiculously expensive. Now, is, you needed a new bag, right? Mr. Garcia, I'm getting you a new bag. I'm pretty sure you needed a new one, right? Here we are. Mr. Mangiello says, I don't know if I can keep sp spending money in here. You having a bad night, Mangiello? Here you go, Mangiello. I'll give you a Togi kiss and a Leafeon and a Metal Gross. Here you go. Gross. I think you did have a bad night. You know, sometimes it's not obvious that somebody should get a pity pull because the way that they go cold is they get like multiple small orders that are cold, but they add up to a bit more. So sometimes it's not as obvious that that person needs a pity pull. Here's Juan Garcia. Okay, now we've got Eric Lovato. He needs one live custom. Eric, I don't think you're going to hit anything here. You got Joltik. Yeah. So because that those team-ups had just gotten pulled. There's always more cold packs in the box than hot packs. So if you're the guy right after a hot pack is pulled, you're probably pulling cold. Shane Childers says, I would like five packs of Roaring Skies. There you go, Roaring Skies. Similar to uh, Mr. Similar to, who was it? Wes Donini. That's the good stuff, the XY stuff. I don't talk about it a lot, but I actually believe XY is where it's at. That's what I would open. I would open up XY. Now, let me grab one more Roaring Skies. I'm actually quite low on these. I should already have a bag with some NBA Prison in it. We'll combine it next order. Ah, thank you. Let me know. Next time you make an order, just mention that, and I'll do the com combination on them. I, for some reason, I felt like I had shipped you recently. I probably just forgot. But yeah, it'll be fine in there. So this is for Shane Childers. And the reason why XY is interesting to me is because it's 
probably definitely out of print. And once again, I'll mention the PSA population on those cards, pretty low, actually. Pretty low for every card. Sneak. And you got like the uh, the generations before XY, like black and white and stuff like that. Those are so expensive already. They're like way overpriced. So XY is kind of what I'm looking at these days. Oh, that wasn't upside down. It was the right side up. So here's Fletchling. And oh, this is really confusing. Dust Docks. So you got one of those special hollows, kind of like Cosmic Eclipse, right? So there's Dust Docks. Execute and Unpheasant. Pikachu. Oh, here we go. You've got High Dragon EX. All right. And finally, Tropius Bonnet. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Shane Childers. Mr. Shane. Doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo. Isn't this music, man? It's so awesome. Look at that. So, Shane, you're up top. Let me go find your bag. I've seen your bag. I'm on the other side of the world from the USA. You must be in Australia, mate. Oh, you're right here, Shane Childers. You gonna go put some shrimp on the Barbie? I'm gonna go put some shrimp on the Barbie. And uh, now I'm doing a refresh. Nice long stream, just like just like usual. And I apologize for starting so late. It's not really my intention, but you know, I've got uh, my wife's in-laws are here. And so it's just kind of weird over here right now. I'm not sleeping at a normal time. I'm not sleeping very much at all, actually. And you know, just hanging out and stuff like that. Okay. Actually, you know, I was supposed to take these days off. You know what I mean? Like a vacation. But I said, heck no. Gene Hyatt, he wants seven Japanese Lost Thunder. Where are my Lost Thunders? Here they are. You got it, Gene. Welcome back, Gene. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, weird that the sleeve was bent on that one. This is for Gene Hyatt. I'm going to go put some shrimp on the Barbie. We've got, oh, Tyranitar. That's right, Tyranitar is in the Lost Thunder set as well. This is a top choice set for me. You know, I, I thought Team Up was really good. I think this is really good as well. Here's Raikou. Raikou's really good. Cold. Jumpluff isn't a very good hollow. Jumpluff's kind of mediocre. Cold. And Blissey. All right. So you got your Tyranitar and your three hollows. That's for Gene Hyatt. Mr. Gene. There we go. Gene Hyatt with the G. Isaac. Ivanski. Ivan to suck your blood. Let me check up top. You might be up top. I feel like you're up top. Do you have English Lost Thunder? I do, but it's very expensive, so I don't offer it for sale because I don't want any searching occurring. Uh, to sell a box of Lost Thunder, I would like to do a reserve list. I think that's a much better method. You know, actually, there's a funny thing going on, guys. I was listening to a guy talk on YouTube, and he's a card shop owner, and he was talking about how he makes all of his monies from singles. And it occurred to me, these guys who run traditional card shops they're not like Walmart. They're just dudes like me, right? And I realized all of a sudden that I don't trust card shops at all. I realized the employees or the owner could be searching or weighing packs and then selling the junk ones off in their in their shop. I, I didn't even think about it till I realized. I was like, wait a second. This isn't like some corporation that has no interest in cards. It's an actual just, it's just a dude. It's just some guy. He could be searching all day. And I realized how yucky that was. I was like, oh, that's no good. 
So, you know, for you guys watching this, box breaks are really good for you guys because box breaks, when they occur, you got the sealed box right in front of you. We unwrap it and you know, absolutely, without even trusting me, which by the way, you can trust me, but see, can you? You know what I mean? Like, but when, it, when it's totally a, a box break, you just watch it open right in front of you. That's the best thing about a box break. So box breaks are special because of that. And, uh, but yeah, you know, I was watching, I'm like, God dang, dude. He's talking about how much he likes to sell singles. And I was thinking to myself, like, what stops this guy from searching a box and then pulling all the hyper rares out and selling all the junk packs? You know what I mean? I was like, nothing, I guess. Local business owners are the shadiest piece people. Mr. is right. So anyways, that was on my mind uh, the other day. I, I just, uh, it dawned on me. You know, I'd never thought about it before. Alex says, cut two NBA hoops. Alex, you are just completely out of control. All right, give me a minute. Let me go grab two of them. All right, so Alex is asking me to cut two of these. Snip. You live there? What? Oops, 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 oops. So, without going back, we will be cutting these. You got Grant, Tyrese, and Derrick Rose on pack number one. On pack number two, you've got James Harden, Xavier, and Robert. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. But we are now going to snip all of them. So the card to snip, apparently, is Giannis. Whew. Alex, you are out of your mind, man. <laughs> you could have opened so many Pokemon cards already. Now we have Ronaldo Nunez. He says two ghosts of the past. Mr. Ronaldo, I would love to pull you a ghost rare. There's a couple guys opening these right now. I think they all have the same idea that maybe they're going to pull a ghost rare. Let's see what happens. Wow, mister, you got some magic. Uh, these are 10 magic packs called Throne of Eldraine. They're part of a trade I made. They're all the magic I have. I was selling them for $9 a booster pack for anyone who wanted to open them. Here's Orchestrated Return. Yeah, I'm afraid no ghost rare in these either. The ghost rare is extremely hard to pull, which is why they go for so much money. The only good Gianna card is his rookie. This year's cards ain't worth much, says Guerrero. Very interesting. I like having you here, Mr. Garcia and Eddie Petty as well, because you guys kind of teach us. Uh, anyone it really has the ability to teach us about the uh, sports cards. And it's fun learning about them. I feel like I'm already much more knowledgeable about the uh, sport cards. Like, they're so different from Pokemon cards. You got the numbered cards, rookie cards, special hollows. You know, they, they could be like a different color, like purple hollow, prism card or whatever. And then the players' actual, like, their, their history, how well they've played the games, affect how desirable of a card they are. I think that's really fascinating. So, like, so basically for me... What's interesting is you can have a, a player who starts out really good in the season, and then they have a few bad games by the end of the season, and so the card would have started out real valuable and then ended cold. But you don't know if they're going to play poorly in the next game, so it's a lot like gambling. It's like betting on a uh, betting on a racehorse, right? Right. You don't know which horse is going to win the race, uh, but it's fun to watch. Can you explain what a custom box is? Uh, these are my custom booster packs. And when you order one, I pull one from the front of the box. And if you're lucky, a hot, a hot card pulls out of there. If you're unlucky, a cold one comes out. There are more cold cards than hot cards. So we have an order for Mr. Alexio Alvarez. He wants one more ghost of the past. All right, but you know, I think it's really time to wrap up. So after this, I'd like to end the stream, okay? So no more orders after this, Mr. Alexio. No more orders, anyone? Mask change. Sunvine Thrasher. Yeah, no ghost rare in there. I apologize. His rookie card right now is over 2,000 PSA 10. Nice. So Giannis rookie, what would that come out of? 1920? 2019, 2020? Or would that be uh, 2021? When's the rookie card from Giannis from? Okay. 
1819? Jesus. Guerrero says 2013. Mods, let him know how to, uh, no to put them to sell. Hell no, 2013. Hey, mister, can you open an Opus 11 for yourself, says Damien Dolan. I could do that, probably. Ah, uh, you know what? I've got to wrap up. Let's wrap up. If I open them up, I should open it on, like, TikTok, because I need TikTok content. So I'm doing a last refresh. I can see that there's no new orders, so we are all done for the night. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. A lot of fun. You can always tell me in Discord what kind of sets you want to see next. Uh, and, yeah, I guess it's time to wrap up. Thank you so much, everyone. I am still having my in-laws over here for, like, at least two more days. I can't guarantee a stream tomorrow night, but I would really like to have a stream tomorrow night. So I'm going to try and do it, okay? I've, so far, it's been two days that I wasn't supposed to have it, and I've got it done, okay? So I'll see you. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you then. Ha, 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 ha.